all praises. Uh, like I said, ping everybody you got up. Oh, okay, I ran out. Let me shoot. Let uh, me shoot Corey a text too. Shalom, Israel. What's going on? What's going on, Yash? What's happening there? Shalom, brother Dominique. What's cracking? Not much, man. Just uh, getting this uh, lesson ready for tomorrow, and then uh, enjoying this build tonight. Should be a good one. Con, con. All praise be to the Most High. Praise. What's going on, Derage Top, Bishop T? It's the Mexican Apostle. What's happening? Hey, shalom. Yeah, yeah. Shoot, I'm in the studio. That's where I need to be. Yeah, well, you were supposed to pull up, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna be able to do it this week. <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna figure out something for next week, though, for sure. About to uh, get some dinner in, hopefully, pretty soon, but definitely looking forward to the build tonight. God, let me. I'm bugging right now. Uh, oh, there we go. And what's so dope about this room, um, I just got off the phone with Corey, uh, Dom, y'all, what's up? And um, he said the, the beautiful thing about this is, you know, he's never really, he's never really dealt with um, brothers who were more on the reasonable side that didn't agree with the, the 12 tribes chart. Usually when people don't believe in it, they already, you know, off the hinges anyway. Um, so he said he's really, he's really uh, curious to see how this um, how this build goes, and he wants to hear the information being brought out um, because you know uh, all praise to the Most High. I've been building with brothers for a decent amount of time, and and have a uh, a pretty solid reputation of um, you know being solid in my information, being solid in, in doctrine. So he he was like, man, it, it I'm curious to see how the build goes because usually you just got people that just emphatically disagree don't really have a reason for disagreeing it's just all oh, that's some bullshit um which i i can't even you know i can't argue with because most people who have this conversation do just that <clears throat> excuse me do just that they don't they don't really have um really much information and they don't really have um the i guess the the ability to reason for lack of better words uh, so I do think it's going to be a really good build, uh, especially because I told him the same thing. I'm like a lot of people, you know, they follow the 12 tribes chart, but I've only heard maybe two people with an actual like an understand uh, uh, for lack of better words, an understanding uh, in, in the actual, you know, 12 tribes chart and breaking it down. Most people just kind of go with the flow as well. So um, I think it's going to be a, a definitely a real good build and a good conversation. I know he's about to get situated with. Um, He's about to get situated with uh, uh, LEL and them. I think they're having another build tonight, so he's gonna be um, he's gonna be um, kind of like mod in both ways. Shalom, Kadaza, what's going on? Hey, Shalom, yo. And then Corey comes in here on his phone. Ain't that some shit? <sighs> so um, while brothers are still pinging people in the room. Uh, just to got, give you guys, um, uh, hold on, let me mod this uh, little fella real quick. Um, just to give you guys some understanding of how the room is going to go. It's going to be very similar to uh, Guy First Gang. It's going to be pretty much popcorn style, but um, early on, uh, or I should say first off rather, um, is going to be us presenting our side um, because I, I had a conversation with a couple of brothers uh, last week, <clears throat> excuse me, last week pertaining to the last topic. And in the last topic, they felt that nobody really knows, you know, True Nation's stance on certain things. So brothers are a little more hesitant to um, come up and speak on it. 
Um, so we're going to lay out our premise. We won't go super in depth if if brothers would like to, I guess, question us on uh, what what our belief is as far as our stance goes uh, further. Uh, we'll definitely do that. And then that's when we'll start to have the popcorn build because we have questions for brothers. Brothers have questions for us. We got answers for brothers. I'm sure brothers uh, have answers for us as well. Um, so that's pretty much how to go. Dom is pretty much the exact same way as brothers doing God first gang. Um, you and Corey usually call it straight down the middle, so we won't have a problem there. Um, the only difference is, um, which I, I, I don't see it. I don't foresee that being an issue is, um, brothers got two chances to say something out of pocket and then we just moving them down. It ain't no, we not, we not, we don't, we not doing the, the petty back and forth or none of that. We just immediately they go. So that's the only difference. I know sometimes we, we entertain it, but, um, I really want it to be a clean build. And um, we 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 throwing down any nonsense. We'll definitely give them a chance to come back up. But if they do it again, after they got their two chances, they come back up with the nonsense. Then they're just going to be removed completely, and they just stay in the audience. I, I agree with that. If if I could just uh, suggest one thing um, huh. that I think will uh, make it go a little smoother. So, um, you guys present your information. Um, go as in detail as as you would like. I believe that that would be good for the brothers on stage um, to know. So if that's, you know, if, I'm, minutes, if I may ask a quick question, go ahead, Dom. <clears throat> wait, wait, let, let go ahead, let Dom, let Dom finish, and then y'all will probably get uh, ask the question. No, oh, not a one. Yeah, yeah. So if that's if that's you know ten minutes, that's ten minutes, because I'm sure the brothers want to know exactly what you guys are you know standing on and and why you you know don't agree with the chart or thing or problems that you see. So I would take the time to just kind of go a little bit in depth. If that's, you know, 10 minutes, that's 10 minutes. I would say that that's a good solid time to present you guys as a understanding five to 10 minutes um, and then allow uh, the other side, right, who's in defense of the 12 tribes chart, who hold to it to do the same things. Because while you guys, you know, disagree with the chart, you, you know what the chart is, uh, maybe necessarily you might not understand the, the fullness of why they stand on the chart. Um, so I think that it would be good for both ways if both sides present, you know, you know, their understanding in a limited way, you know, maybe go to some after that. So so what do you think about this, Dom? And then y'all will stop you guys your question. Ten minutes on our side, ten minutes on their side, and then we can popcorn build. I think, I think ten minutes to give us a a solid because at the end of the day that's what we're doing usually give us 30 seconds on your position but we'll simplify it and you know we'll give you our position we'll give you some some uh, scriptural backing on why we believe what we believe or don't believe what we don't believe and then brothers can do the exact same and then from there we can start you know building back and forth shalom to zayak what's going on hey shalom man what's going on uh my opinion on that um uh, shalom to the panel my opinion on that uh darash would be I would say just to shorten up the time because me and you spoke about the time, you know, going anywhere between two and a half to four hour bill if uh, that time permits. So I, was, I would say to shorten up the time, 10 minutes and five minutes because, you know, brothers know people who don't hold to the chart in totality. And then when you hold to the so-called chart in totality, brothers kind of get the concept of that. But when you're kind of in the middle phase to where you necessarily don't hold to the chart but you do hold to the people maybe you need a little bit more time than the, you know the opposite party um so i would say 10 minutes and then five minutes um just so they can kind of give their clear position to the audience so the audience could know what the argument is um five, you know five, so five, 10 on ours and five on theirs yeah. yes God, God. what y'all think about that y'all what's up cap yeah, I don't have a problem with the time. I would just, as they're given their understanding, because, you know, you brothers made this room, right? So that huh. means that I should be able to actually ask questions and to try to get in depth of the under, of what the understanding is. You know what I'm saying? Because I, huh. I felt like that could be done last week. And then when I came back into the room, Brothers was asking the same question that I had, answering the same question 
that I asked 45 minutes prior. So I was confused. But, you know, I, I definitely have a, oh, a bajillion amount of questions that, you know, that I definitely would like to get answered. I want to hear y'all brothers take on, on a lot of things. And, and then from there, I think it'll be cool. Then, then y'all put us in the hot seat. But since it's y'all room, you know, I think at first y'all have to defend that it's not valid. And one, one other thing I want to say is it's not a chart. When you when you already come in here and say a chart, it, it's a sign. That that's what it is. That's what it's always said to be, and, and that and that's what I, I was taught from my elders. That 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 were in the uh, in the original school and what the what the elders in the original school always said. It's not a chart. It's a sign. It's the twelve tribe sign. So I don't agree with a twelve tribe chart. I agree with the twelve tribe sign. If that makes sense. Hold on, let me, let well, me for the sake of, r- real quick, Corey, for the for the right. sake of you know the audience, because this is what they know it as. Um, most people refer to it as the twelve tribes chart, but I, I but I, I get it, y'all was up for sure. Yeah, what I was uh gonna say, y'all was up is that was you, you know um that was the conversation that me and Darash had. Maybe some of the uh, feedback that came from the last room that um people feeling like it was informative uh you know uh contention was there sometimes which is also good with men to actually get down to the understanding of uh whatever someone is teaching uh but you know that was part of the reason why we're here to make sure that you know the the platform um is not in echo chamber um but brothers is able to not only uh you know offend someone else's understanding but also defend the 12 tribe sign. So that was the, uh, the, the point for the additional moderation to make sure that, you know, the, um, the unbiased, uh, energy is there, which is where Darash kind of spoke on when he kind of heard when I first came into the room where he was saying, it's going to be done very similar to God first game. Um, and then he only added one, uh, pretty much versus rule, which is like two strikes you out, you get dropped down. So it's going to be very similar to God first game. Hence um, the God first game moderators that's on the stage. That's going to be playing a role and calling it down the middle. So um, the only, the, what, what we're saying about the times is giving them 10 minutes to explain. So it's not like brothers is building a straw man and knocking that straw man down, giving them 10 minutes to explain their position. And then giving y'all five minutes to explain the opposite side. And then from there is going to be a popcorn bill. Mainly the guys that's speaking, from my understanding, is Darash and Yatav. Those are going to be the main guys building. Um, I believe Yashamai is going to point make and read. I believe uh, the bishop, um, Taziawan, is going to point make um, and get in there if he needs to. But mainly the people that's going to be building is Darash and Yatav. And then, um, of course, I think mainly from this side would be Yawasap and um, Kataza. And then, of course, you know, point making can be done from there on the stage. So that's my understanding. It's going to be a popcorn style bill from the 10 minutes and the five minutes. After that, it's just going to be questions, answers, so on and so forth. We're calling it down the middle. It's not going to be biased. Ain't no kicking down because you can't answer a question. Any of that. You know what I mean? We're just going to call it straight down the middle so it can be a really good. Salakia. I think what um, Yawasap was saying, and I think everybody should weigh in on this, I think Yawasap was saying, since he has so many questions to ask after that 10 minutes, if we can kind of do like how we do on the formal side, like a, a 20 minute hot seat where it's just only one side answering questions and the other side asking, and then it flip, right? And then after that, it can be like a popcorn. I think that's what Yawasap was kind of more asking about so i just wanted to make that you know that point in there to see if that's what wanted to be done or do we think that that would be good or do we just want to just do a popcorn after the 10 and the 5 i think that's going in more so into a formal debate and i'm not sure if that's what Darash was creating with the room is to to do that i mean i think it's, the 10 yeah, minutes it's, it's just the minutes. bill is it's definitely just the bill because i, I you know i'm pretty sure um kataza came up because i'm sure he, he definitely wants to build on it yabasap has already told me a number of times he wants to build on it to Zaryak, i'm sure is here to build as well so i i'm pretty sure all three of them will have information to bring out and i don't want to 
pigeonhole individual. So, you know, they'll probably be bringing out a point once they land their plane. It's like we may have a question on that. And we, we want it to just be a free, almost a free flowing type conversation as okay. well. So, so that's, yeah. But I just wanted to kind of throw that in there because I thought that's okay. what I heard. That was what I kind of alluded to. But yeah, that's cool. Let's go ahead. Shalom, IQ. Shalom. 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 Shalom, Oh, and Salaki. So um, real quick, um, Shamar is going to be one of the readers. And uh, we got another brother. He's busy right now, but we're going to pull him up in a minute to read as well, Brother Miles. So just FYI. Make sure y'all uh, are pinging people to come into the room. You know, if you're on the stage, if you're in the audience, just come into the room. Make sure y'all ping the gang in the building. Uh, let's kind of get it built, uh, built up and get it packed. If you are... Uh, here, um, this is definitely an exclusive room um, in the midst of Israel and the understandings within um, our nation. So these are brothers building with brothers on this topic um, to kind of get the understandings clear. Um, and hopefully uh, people can actually learn from the conversation, whether you're on the stage or not. Um, so I would advise everybody to take notes. Um, pull their Bibles out, get their phones out, you know, um, to be able to follow along. I, that's the first thing I want to say. Um, uh, secondly, uh, you know, sometimes bills can go on, questions and answers. Uh, please try to stay as close to the Bible as you can in terms of biblical integrity. So uh, sometimes you may just give an answer to something and everybody kind of get it. Uh, but if you can just give that biblical reference uh, to what you are talking about, it, of course, we're going to get into history um, because we're talking about land masses and migration patterns and so on and so forth. So, of course, we're going to do that. So if you can just cite your sources first, whatever you're presenting and then get into that and then, you know, ask questions, so on and so forth. Uh, I, I would assume, Dom, Dom, you up here to assist with the moderation as well. Or are you adding? No, Dom is moderating. Dom is moderating. So, yeah, I just wanted to see if he was adding as well. So um, me and Dominique will be in a moderation. I'm a moderator, too. Okay. Um, oh, what, Cap? I thought you thought you were going to say something, man. No, that's Kata. Yeah, Kata's about to smoke the shit out of you. I just want to moderate. Okay, <laughs> Oprah, we finna, we finna see about that. <laughs> hey, Kata's out. That's a lot of pressure on you. I just realized that. There's no pressure. That. I'm about, there's, there's, a there's, pressure there's, a, there's, there's a lot of pressure. There's a regular day at the office. My yeah, feet kicked no. up right now, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, all, all crazy. <laughs> we about to see. That was yeah, real good. good. This is right. This 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 about to be a good one. Hey, give yeah, me the um, beans I think so I make sure I don't chime in, y'all. Hey, hey, Tazariak. Hey, Tazariak. I'm going to make a quick Tazariak, when, when they start drowning, nigga, don't, don't try to chime in because you got the beam. Ain't no coming down right. and coming up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, yo. I'm good. I ain't got to do that. I ain't got to do that. Good. I'm good. I beat y'all on the drive by the other day. Kata's out about to smoke y'all. So. Hey, all I'm, is, all I'm saying is, the audience, the audience saw that dead body cap. That's all I'm saying. Is that, is that your leader? Desire one, is he the leader? Yeah, Desire one, the leader. What's is up, this man? your king? <laughs> What's up, Desire one? Y'all, y'all was done dirty, but I mean, Lord be with y'all. Hey, all, all, all I'm saying is, the audience, the audience saw that body bag, Tazari, when you pulled nah, up and got the fact that in you your drive by. It, the fact that you even copying my slogan shows you lost. Why you get your own here, I mean, you copy my. That's my slogan, and that's what's so you cold. Your, your your slogan got nah. done to you. That's what's so crazy. Right, man. I understand. I understand. But it's, but it's all good. You know, mm. it's about to be two and zero up here. If you haven't yet, uh, uh, <laughs> click that click that greenhouse right above me, and, up. and um, definitely, uh, what I was going to say, add yourself to the room, add members as well. Um. It's about to be a it's about to be a good one. I I tell you that much. It's about to be a really good build. And um, like Corey said earlier, if you haven't pinged everyone on your list yet, ping as many people as you can into the room until that bad boy stop pinging. All right, I can uh I can keep the time. So whenever y'all start talking, I'll take off. Ten minutes for True Nation. Hey, you said you keeping the time down? Yeah, yeah, it's just uh okay. ten minutes. Open yeah, it's just the intro. It's just oh, okay, no sweat. No, I ain't know if I need to do my stop watching now, but if Dom, you got it, that's fine. Okay, you're tired. Whenever you're ready.
Gun, gun. All right, go ahead, open up. All right, Shalom family, I'm Brother Yatab. So uh, ready to go ahead and get into uh, tonight's segment on the 12 tribe chart, sign, um, or the various term brothers may uh, go ahead and describe to it as. Um, so of course, our stance of True Nation is like congregation that the overall tribe chart sign is not scripturally accurate. So therefore we throw it out as a false adoption understanding. Our premise that we give is one, the 12 tribe chart reduces Israel to landmass. When Israel identified by genealogy, according to scriptures, not landmass. Of course, have the scriptures go ahead and uh, reference to get those as well. Numbers chapter one and verse 18 at the first scripture in the first Chronicles 9 and one at the second one. Um, and then I'll go ahead and get to the other premises as well. Um, let's go ahead and get Numbers chapter one, verse 18. So like it, Numbers chapter one, verse 18, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their mm. families by the house of their fathers. By the what? By the house of their fathers. So the pedigree, lineage, ancestry was always by the house of their fathers. Get first Chronicles chapter nine, verse one. God, I got it. First Chronicles nine and one. So all Israel were reckoned by genealogies, and behold, by what? The, so all Israel were reckoned by genealogies. So all Israel has all been reckoned. Reckon means recognized. They've all been recognized or identified by genealogy. Let's get premise number two. It does not list all nations. Let's get Zechariah chapter seven and verse fourteen to see why this is pertinent. Zechariah chapter 7 exactly. and verse 14. Mm -hmm. But I scattered them with a whirlwind among the nations whom they knew not. So now, when you look at Zechariah chapter 7 and verse 14, the first thing that we are hearing is that he did what? Read it again. I scattered them, but I scattered them with a whirlwind. It says I all scattered. Nations. When you define scatter, you're looking at from dictionary.com to distribute or occurring at widely spaced and usually irregular intervals, dispersed or disorganized. That's what he did. So now go ahead and read it again. But I scattered them with a whirlwind among all the nations whom they knew not. Thus no. the land was desolate after them that no man passed through nor returned, for they laid the pleasant land desolate. Right. So now we're dealing with whirlwind. It's whirlwind also lets us know anything resembling a whirlwind as in violent action or destructive force. It also lets us know something that swirls. So what we're getting here when Zachariah is letting us know is that the most high saying, I widely dispersed them in irregular intervals, advancing them over land and sea, often with violent action or destructive force among all the ethnic families or other territory. That's what we do with nations. Now, Zechariah is saying this 2.5 thousand years ago. So how do we know that? Because Zechariah 7 and 1 lets us know, and we can go ahead and read that, Zechariah 7 and 1. Zechariah chapter 7 and verse 1. And it mm -hmm. came to pass in the fourth year of King Darius. So we're what, dealing with Darius. That's in the Persian and Mede captivity. So the Persian and Mede, their empire reigned during 539 BC to 332 BC, prior to the Greek civilization coming in and, and taking rule. So you're looking at about two and a half thousand years ago. We were already in a place where we were being scattered and being dispersed across the four corners of the earth due to our various captivities. So now, even then, which brings up our next premise, point number three, get Acts chapter 2, 5 through 11. Read Acts chapter 2, verse 5. Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. And there were dwelling mm -hmm. at Jerusalem Jews, devout so men. So there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews. These are Jews, devout men. Read. Out of every nation under heaven. Out now, when out of every nation under heaven. So you're having men coming from various nations during the Feast of Pentecost, which are gathering for that you would read earlier up above in the scriptures. Read on. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. So yeah, they were, every man speak in his own language from the land in which they came from. Read on. 
And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Gal Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? Five minutes mm -hmm. Par Parthians and Medes and Elamites and the dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and in Cappadocia and Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia in Egypt and in the parts of Libya around about Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes. Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of the Most High. So you have various regions and nations and areas that are being substantiated that these are where our people are actually dwelling, but yet and still we do not find them listed at all on any of the common signs or charts that people may use in this day and age. From there, the next premise, and that's also further substantiated what we read in Zechariah. Now let's get uh, the next premise, point number four. We have books of the Bible that are named after the churches in that region. Why did the chart not include them? We have Rome, which you can reference Romans 1 to 7, which I'll give the snippet to all that be in Rome. You have Corinth, which you can reference 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 2 unto the church of God, which is at Corinth. Galatia, you can reference Galatians chapter 1 and verse 2 unto the churches of Galatia, churches of Galatia. Ephesus, Ephesians 101, to the saints which are at Ephesus. Philippi, Philippians 101, the saints in Christ Jesus, which are at Philippi. Colossae, Colossians 1 and 2, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae. And of course, Thessalonia. So 1 Thessalonians 101, unto the church of the Thessalonians. So that's all the points as far that I have. I'll give it over to the Rosh. You can add any point that he may have. Um, and then I'll go ahead and uh, turn over to brethren to... Uh, go ahead and state their client god um i mean that's pretty much it we're pretty much going to end up yielding the remainder of our time because uh the majority of the i guess the rest of the questions and the answers will um come more so uh toward the popcorn bill we can also go into individually each tribe uh, according to uh, Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy 33, uh, the actual uh, breakdowns of those, because we can find all of that information in the scriptures uh, pertaining to those prophecies. But uh, with that, will you? That's it. Yeah, I guess a uh, um, good deal. Um, it was seven minutes, 30 seconds. So uh, you guys have five minutes. I'll let you know when you have one minute remaining. All right, so the time will start when you guys start speaking. Hey, Katazai, you want to take it out? Uh, I mean, I really just want to respond to what they said. I, I, I ain't going to present nothing outside of that, honestly. All right, but, um, I, don't worry. I'll take, like, two seconds real quick. Uh, Yeah, you, you got it. All right, no problem. Uh, I just, let me crack this open. You can start the time now. I'm not even going to take five minutes. This is Sirach chapter 33 and verse 3. It says, A man of understanding trusteth, trusteth in the law, and the law is faithful unto him as an oracle. So we see right here that in the law, which is the Torah, that it has prophecies within it. Okay? I'm just going to go to one more, and then I'm going to end it here. And we're going to go to Genesis 49 and 1. It says, And Jacob called unto his sons, and said, gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which may befall you in the last days. So Jacob gathered his sons together before he died. I'm pretty sure every brother up here knows this. And he said, come together. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen within the last days. We're living in the last days. So this is just a, a, a plethora of scriptures that actually help us identify the geographical locale of where these tribes are. A landmass doesn't determine a tribe. I don't know where you guys heard that. That's that's crazy to me. But the tribes are in certain land masses. Very easy to understand. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm you. I get. Okay. Um. Dom, yeah, Corey. I, I think. Oh, um, my bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Carter, I'm my... Yeah. No. No. No sweat. Um. I. I think that this largely comes at a misconception. Because most people have not been taught this properly or sat down to learn it in depth. They've only gotten the basics or heard little bits and pieces and then they try to concoct their own doctrine out of it. 
instead of sitting down and actually getting the the, the proper understanding. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as like what what Yawasaf was saying, the tribes have always stuck together. We do that today. That's why I'm I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? What areas y'all live in, right? But if if you go to areas like New York or Miami, like where we have you know major metropolitan areas where all the tribes are filled, like there's a reason why there's Harlem and Spanish Harlem. There's a reason why there's Little Haiti, Little Havana, Little Jamaica, because it's in our nature to be able to stick with each other. When you're when you're hearing about these different demographics where the tribes went, we're talking about the bulk of the populations. And the reason as to why, like when you look at the sign and you see these specific locations is because, number one, where are we? We ain't in Philadelphia. We ain't, we ain't in Galatia. We ain't in these places. You get what I'm saying? Like, like, where are we today? The bulk of our population is inside the Americas. You understand? Like, when, when you, you want to turn around. Like, everybody, like, like, I can't, one thing I can't stand by arguing with some Old Testament nut is they always try to find some tribe over in Africa that ain't nobody ever heard of when there's, what, 12 million, million Negroes in New York? Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, another 4 million in L.A.? Like, our people is right here. Why y'all always looking for something more when what we have here was to wake up our people where we were? That's the whole point of the demographic. I'm going to give somebody, I'm going to be like, you know, there's Israelites in China. That, that, that Real nice, nigga. I'm in Baltimore. We trying to wake up our people here that we know are Israelites. And according to like what Yahweh was bringing out a moment ago, we know because they fit the spiritual attributes and prophecies that would be labeled upon them. And then even even when y'all are bringing up Galatia and all these other things, here's something else y'all gotta y'all gotta understand, right? When you read this Bible, they were writing according to what they knew at the time and what had already transpired. So, for example, when you're reading inside of um, I'm gonna give you a brief example of this. When you're reading inside of Exodus, when you're reading inside of Leviticus. They were calling Jerusalem, Jerusalem before there even was a Jerusalem, before Jerusalem was established. Why? Because they're letting you know in a modern sense of who's reading it, this particular landmass that they're talking about at that time. Every single regime change that would happen, whether it was in uh, Assyria, whether it was in Babylon, whether it was in the Persians, whether it was in the Romans, they would displace us and move us out of different lands. So as you start to see different lands getting named where we were, it's because of the displacement of where the tribes have gone, moved, migrated, or been transported to outside of captivity. So now what you're seeing take place today with that chart is, or, or rather sign, you understand, whichever one y'all want to call it, is you're seeing us now tell you where we're currently displaced after the Greeks after the romans you understand after all these different borders and regime changes have happened because we're not in israel the arabs and the so-called white man is does that mean that there's not a handful or a small remnant sure of course there is you know what i'm saying but is that the majority of the bulk of the population absolutely not we know we were transported over and we ruled europe does that mean we're still there no why because as they came in and started to take over they started to ship out the aristocracy and, and all of those that were ruling and sitting on the crowns in Germany, in England, all throughout Europe. They started sending them to America. They started taking the ones from uh, 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 so the uh, uh, west coast of Africa and sending them into Europe. And they started to completely displace us. And that's why it was a triangular trade. So what you're seeing today is where we would be today and these demographics are listed based on the bulk of the populations of who those tribes would be according to where they migrated you know what i'm saying so even when it comes down to a small example right if it comes down to the tainos the tainos weren't only in puerto rico they were on the southern tip of florida they were inside south america we know because they had advanced trade routes all throughout the caribbean we're talking about the bulk of the population of where these people were. And the landmass, what you said time or you said con, Salaki? I was saying that was time. See, what happened was I thought that Yawasop had said that he didn't need, you guys didn't need the time. So you kind of told mm -hmm. him to take off. 
and I thought he kind of yielded his time, and then you were kind of just opening the bill, and so it was kind of a little bit of confusion um, going on. But I, that, it's fine, though. Everything you said was beautiful, but I just wanted – I think the brothers was thinking that you were still on the five-minute time, so that's why I just called time. I mean, listen, listen, y'all got it. I mean, that, that pretty much sets the premise for this, so we can move on. Can I just uh, say one preset uh, to what Kataza brought out? And then uh, I guess we could open it up. Is that cool? That, 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 that one precept can open it up. All oh, praises. All right. So just as uh, the captain was saying, right, how, you know, the Lord spoke to the prophets in diverse manners during the certain times. And, you know, during the time that we're living in now in the Western Hemisphere where the bulk of the children of Israel are, the Lord put it through the spirit for us to identify where the geographical locale of these people are on this side of the world, right? So I'm just going to read this real quick. This is Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. God, who at sun-dry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the prophets, uh, Salakia, unto the fathers by the prophets. So in many diverse times, the Lord spoke unto us in different ways. And the way he's speaking unto us now is the sign and wonder on when somebody walks by us on the street corners while we're crying aloud and teaching the people to repent. That sign that he has placed upon us is this sign known as what people call the 12 tribe chart. So when they walk by and they see their, that Jamaican or West Indian or Dominican or Guatemalan or Seminole Indian or Native American Indian, they say, what is this? And this is how we bring people into the Lord. With that, I yield. God. Okay. Um, real quick, because God as I said uh, two things that I don't want anyone to misinterpret, right? Um, God as I said the, the problem that he has with Old Testament only brothers is X, Y, and Z. Um, we're not, I, I don't, I'm not saying, God, God is not saying this, but for the sake of the audience, we're not Old Testament only. We believe in the book in its entirety, old, new, and apocryphal books. Um, the second thing he said, he doesn't know where we reside. Uh, we all actually live in Los Angeles, uh, probably the most diverse uh, city in the United States of America. Um, in addition to the fact brothers have traveled to a number of places from Peru to Mexico to Ghana, um, across the states as well. So we're, we're, we're very um, knowledgeable. Uh, as to, you know, how our people move. Um, and I guess the, the best way to open this, because our thing is, we, we understand what you're saying. Um, I know brothers have, have different stances. Some you, say you, that, bro yeah. you broke up. I don't know if it was just me, but you broke up. Oh, so like, what, what, no, what, was, no, what part I did you miss? Was, I think it was uh, Katiza. Okay, I'll pray. Okay, okay. God, okay. Um, so I was saying, you know, we've, we've traveled a number of places um, as a unit. Of uh, brothers, so just just to put that out there as well, uh, we're we're very um, adept to um, the the way that our people even uh, what is it called bind to one another, right? Um, so I guess the question will be this, and of course, there's going to be questions asked on both sides, answers given on both sides as well. Um, Yahweh Sab said that it's a sign, so you know you look at your when Seminole Indian brothers walk by, or when African American brothers walk by, or so on and so forth. Um, it's it's a it's an eye catcher for lack of better words, and from there it brings them to the Lord. Um, or we we can we can use it to bring them to the Lord. So I guess my question is this, for any any brother that um, has the stance of the 12 tribes sign, um, what, what people would we list as the tribe of Judah? If we were to, to point them out today, as we're speaking in in modern names terms in the Western Hemisphere and the Americas, who would be considered the tribe of Judah? The so-called African Americans, Negroes, the American Blacks. Con, okay. So my second question is, how do you determine that? No problem. Uh. One, give, give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. Hey, Kadaza, if you want to take over, go ahead. I'm going to uh, grab it. I, I don't want to go into the Bible app. I want to actually have the sword in front of me. So. God, all praise. Shalom, Panah. Hey, Shalom. I only got a little bit. I was 
um, just in the audience. Okay, okay. Uh, real- well, if you if you definitely if you're able to if you're able to build with brothers, definitely feel free to uh, jump in with uh, y'all. Stop and cut us out. And the, and the oh, reason so- why I ask this. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, I, I just want to lay out why why it is that I'm even asking the question. The reason why I asked the question is because it was stated that um, as a majority, we know these are the places where they dwell as far as their locale, but it's not the the tribe is not predicated upon the landmass. That's literally saying, well, they all end up in this same area, which is why we call them this tribe, but we're still not saying that it's the landmass that determines the tribe. That that kind of sounds contradictory. That's one. And two, uh, the other reason why I ask this is because, remember, when we're dealing with the slave trade, right, the transatlantic slave trade, um, there was a number of stops that were taken before the, the slaves were dropped off in the Americas. And historically speaking, you find this information yourself. Um, you can even Google slavery in Brazil, right? Majority of Africans, Af- so-called Africans, right? were dropped off in Brazil way more 80%. than were dropped off in the Americas. 80%. So yeah, Khan. So so my question is how do why do we not call them the tribe of Judah down there when we can when we can clearly see that they were on that same ship that these brothers were being dropped off at? Are we saying that the Europeans, whatever spirit was placed on them, said, all right, everybody from Astra, y'all, y'all getting off right here. Everybody from Haiti, y'all getting off. Right, I'm sorry, from Levi, y'all getting off right here. Everybody from Judah, y'all getting off right here. How how do we how do we reconcile this information when we're when we're trying to pinpoint which tribe is which? Okay, Legit- Just, legitimate question. Uh, Kata, okay, 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 I thought you were still looking. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I had something else I was going to say before, but just based off of what he said, right? One, Judah just says the Negro. You understand? Like Judah doesn't have a demographic. You understand? It literally just says the Negro of America, right? Um, outside of that, all right, you have an indigenous population inside of Brazil. You know what I'm saying? You have an indigenous population inside of North Central and South America. Um, you know what? Let me backtrack a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because the first thing that, because this will probably answer everything in totality, right? The first thing you said was, how do you know that um, the so-called black man side of America is the Jew? One, we got to start, you understand, at the split of the kingdom. We know the northern kingdom came over here first. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi had stayed, you understand? So from there, from 70 AD on, we now have to use what was contained inside the record. We now have to use archaeology and anthropolitical data, which anthropology is just the study and the movement of a people. From 70 AD on, we know that the bulk of our people fled into West Africa. So so now, the tribes that were here prior to is being based off of the demographic of splitting up the who y'all want to consider or who the world wants to consider Aztec, Incas, Mayans, Arawaks, Caribs, what they're calling now is the Sioux, the Chippewa, you understand, Blackfoot, Mohawk, you know what I'm saying, so on and so forth, which I don't agree really with any of these names, but I'm just using them for names that we could identify with today, you understand? So when you're going through history, what you're seeing here is that Judah wasn't coming over here, or Benjamin, or Levi, until the transatlantic slave trade, that the bulk of the population over here was the indigenous inside of America. So the first thing we know is that there's the separation between the northern and the southern kingdom. Once they start getting brought over here, right, after we get over here, so on and so forth, here's something that a lot of people don't know. And it's hard for us to understand this concept because, you know what I'm saying, we're human. We have compassion. You understand? Like, our oppressor is a conscienceless beast. So there's a reason why they called it chattel slavery. There's a, there's a reason as they treated it like an industry, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know if any of y'all know people who breed dogs, but when you have a dog kennel, you separate your dogs. You keep your blue nose over here. You keep your red nose over here. You keep your Rottweilers over here. That's what they did with us because before they realized how beneficial it would be to destroy our family structure, they were taking whole groups of tribes well, and I'm, I'm utilizing them. Which, uh, what, I'm, I, I want to, so I know which point we're at, right? Are we talking about during... West Africa, like the when we were in West Africa, are we talking about over here already? What are we referring to? 
Okay, right now I'm talking about as far as what happened inside the slave trade, you understand, from West Africa being brought over here. So ju just so you know, I'm past the point of who the natives are over here in America. And right, right now right. I'm, I'm getting to the point of where you were saying, well, how did the Levites get here or the Benjamites get here or the Judites get here in bulk or population? Okay, so, so this, in West so Africa, this, they were separating us in West Africa by, by our... No. We always move, you understand, like as far as like I explained earlier, like even in captivity, even in captivity, naturally, we have a little Haiti, a little Havana. There's a little Mexico that the tribes in large stick together. You understand, like we have always done that. You understand, even inside of Africa. You know what I'm saying? Now, here's what I'm trying to explain to you. When the white man came and started his um, started the slave trade, he was uprooting entire tribal units from one area you know what i'm saying i mean i bring this up all the time w w one of the ones you could do is you can go and you could look up uh look up the gullah people right gullah Geechee, down in uh in the carolinas if you go and you look up certain tribes you know what i'm saying they came even they go back to like sierra leone the white man would come and say okay this climate is good for rice these people can grow rice they would take the entire village of these people and migrate them to that one specific area so that this way they would be able to grow the crop that they desired. They turned slavery into an industry. You know what I'm saying? Same thing even with Haiti. Haiti for a time was only growing sugarcane. That's why they had the whole Louisiana Purchase. Napoleon was growing all his crops for Haiti inside the Americas and shipping them there because the rum industry was so lucrative they didn't want to grow anything else in that climate or in that region so they would take groups of people that they said okay they can handle this climate they can handle this work move this entire tribal unit here they're gonna they're gonna be on the sugarcane plantations they're gonna be on the rice plantations they're gonna be in the cotton fields so, these so people like you real quick uh, excuse me uh -huh. out, for the sake of for the sake of the audience um do you have uh, two questions? Uh, yeah. Well, actually, I uh, one one main one. Um, do you have uh, references or any proof that the that um, what is it called the the biblical tribes were intact when they were in Africa? Like we're saying, Levi was all well. I won't say Levi. Let's say Judah was even when they migrated through North Africa and South into West Africa? Do you have like an actual source or reference that you can point us to? Uh, because what I what I do want us to, to get in the habit of, and us too, scripturally and historically speaking, I wanna make sure that we can at least maybe point out uh, certain references for the audience so it just doesn't come off as conjecture. Okay, I got you. Okay, one, if if you wanna go, right, which this is, this is what you're gonna find, right? You, unfortunately, and this is one of the things that I hate when it comes down to studying this. Unfortunately, today, the best records we have come from our oppressors. Like even when you start studying all the archaeology in South Central and, and North America concerning us, it's always some white man who's studying us got published and they came. You have to go and you have to look up the references from um, the Portuguese, the Dutch and, and the British as far as when they were over inside of Africa and they, what they start doing is they start breaking up. Um, I'm going to see if I can get some of these letters for you, you know what I'm saying, as well as the books, you know what I'm saying, like uh, I'm in Texas right now, so I don't have all my direct books with me so I could be able to list some of the references. But when the Portuguese and the Dutch were over inside of Africa and they started studying us, maybe like the friars, like Diego Duran or like Bartholomew de la Casas, they started looking at us and saying, these tribes study Levitical law. These have to be the Jews. They speak Hebrew, so on and so forth. They started looking at our customs, our rites, our ceremonies and saying, no, this is a quote unquote, lack of a better term, Jewish presence over in West Africa. Now, you have other references even made from other tribes, which stated the same thing, that we kept our culture when we went there. Biblically, what was our culture? We always stood on to ourselves. That was the whole point of numbers. Y'all pulled out numbers early and talked about what it meant to be. And we would stay in our tribe and we had heads and chieftains of tribes. And this is how we would migrate. This is how we moved all throughout anywhere that we went. 
You get what I'm saying? So you'd have to look at our biblical culture. You'd have to look throughout the scriptures. And then you'd also have to look at these references to show who these people were. You know what I'm saying? So it's it ain't no different than like I was saying before as to how we split into empires inside of America. Our tribal units always stayed with each other. As far as specifically, you know what I'm saying, saying that they were um, uh, um, Judah or Benjamin, I'd have to give you the direct reference when it comes down to like what the Portuguese had said about us. You know what I'm saying? So, But for me to turn around and tell you, um, you know what I'm saying, like this person said they were Benjamin at the time, I don't have that reference directly offhand. God. Okay, yeah, and that and that's what that's what we were yeah. trying to. Um, I I, uh, I got two out. Let's go. Go ahead, Todd. Hold on. Let, let go ahead. And let you Todd because you Todd okay. did out. He wanted to respond to a few things and he also. No, no, no. I got you, but I wanted to finish my point. Oh, Salaki, I thought you was done. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Todd. No, no. You 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 had interrupted me off my point. You know what I'm saying? So, the um. What I was stating before was right. One of the best primary sources I can give you off the rip is. Go look up the Gullah people in South Carolina. You'll be able to see that this was an entire tribal unit that they uprooted and brought over to the Americas. You know what I'm saying? At, at, in whole, intact, in order for the purpose of growing rice in the Carolinas. They did this in all these different areas. And then the last part that I'm going to say is um, when you go down, for example, to Brazil, we say these things all the time, right? If you're a Spaniard, a conquistador, a descendant of, uh, of one of the Europeans who enslaved us, you would be an Edomite. If you were brought over, you understand, on a cargo slave ship, you know what I'm saying, during the uh, uh, late 16th century, early 17th century, down towards Brazil, you understand, these would be from the southern kingdom. And if you were a native indigenous population to that land, you would be from the tribe of Asher. So... Nobody's turning around and saying that these aren't who these people are, but we're talking about the bulk of the populations, the natives who were indigenous living in those lands and how their borders were separated. You know what I'm saying? That's why even when you see when it says like Colombia to, to Uruguay, you look, if you go back and you look at the Mayan Empire, the Aztec Empire, um, the Incan Empire, and you compare it to the 12 tribe chart. These are the same people that were all encompassing that same area, which is why it's broken up into that demographic. So we're just explaining to you the location of where the bulk of these people were living at that time. I'll land there. Okay, okay go ahead, Todd. You, you have some. Yeah, not a problem. Um, yes, one, explaining the bulk of where the location of Israelites may be does not substantiate the pedigree of Israelites belonging to that particular tribe. Two, again, true surrogate. If you cannot substantiate the individual, you cannot claim a tribe. Why? Because you must be able to substantiate your tribe, not by location, but by pedigree. Three, you mentioning a series of facts is a straw man. Having the impression of refuting the argument where the real subject of the argument was not addressed or refuted. We are not saying that Israelites are not found primarily within these regions. We are saying that you not, cannot claim that these Israelites belong to a particular tribe and you can identify them by genealogy. And uh, I just wanted to make yeah, a, yeah, go ahead, a quick yeah. point as well. No, a quick point as well. Um, I've actually been to Ghana twice and uh, we had a series of questions uh, for some of the historians that we got in contact with over there and they do not give us the same report as you did I, uh, in regards to how our people are moving uh within africa and uh bishop i think you bishop did you have a point um uh, wanted to bring out the point that you were talking about to that one come come yeah i just wanted to say a few things uh one is this uh, it, i just didn't get any substantial proof that would make me believe that what the brother is saying is um, can really be substantiated, you know, with any concrete proof. Um, one of the things that I see is that um, it's easy for us to not be in our biblical tribes. One of the reasons is because just like what you see today, you got Israelites here throughout the United States. 
Gang culture is a perfect example. We see gang culture all the time. Cats choose sides. They're loyal to their sides. You can't substantiate families by necessarily what gang they belong to. Sometimes you have situations where multiple people in the family may be a part of one particular gang. But that's not always the case. You got many different situations where you got various different family members from different gangs, from different hoods. So we're still tribal by nature. Doesn't necessarily mean that we belong to our biblical tribes. Again, in other places, not only Africa, but even in Europe. That wasn't how they were rolling in Europe. When you go and you do the history, you know, you look into the history of, you know, our people and what they established and how they migrated, the various different expulsions. It didn't happen like that. That's not substantiated in history. So I wanted to bring that up. God, and one last thing. Y'all was stopping and I, I passed the ball to you. Um, I'm not sure, and I could be wrong, if, if the brother can can shoot, shoot it to me in the back chat if you can find it or whatever. Uh, Bartolomeo, de la, Bartolomeo de las Casas. I don't recall him ever being in West Africa. Again, I could be wrong. I do know that he was in the Americas, and um, he spoke a lot on what was going on here as far as the... Um, the destruction of our people here and the devastation of the Indies. Uh, for those who, who have not read that book, it's a really good book to, to show how uh, Latinos and uh, so-called Native Americans are Israelites. They, they fit just about every curse inside of that book. Um, but I don't recall him ever speaking on anything in West Africa. So I don't know if uh, Kadaza has, a, um, has an actual reference that maybe he could shoot me so I can actually get that information. And the other thing was... Um, Hey, the hey, reason why I asked what, what's this? What's this brother's name speaking? Uh, uh, Darash. D Darash, I don't think you were paying attention to what I said, right? I gave a comparison to how when we speak about the tribes in America, we have to go off of the names of people like Diego Duran or Bartholomew La Casa to hear about the tribes here. And I drew a comparison to over in Africa, we have to hear from the Dutch and from the Portuguese okay, okay, when it comes okay. down to those tribes. So I don't think you were paying attention to okay, what I was okay. saying. I, I misunderstood that. So like, okay. okay. And, and then the other thing was um, when when we read the book Black Indians, right? Um, and Black Indians, it shows that the quote unquote Negroes, which is another thing uh, I, I do want brothers to help us to identify. How do you identify what a Negro is? But... Um, when you read the book black indians the book black indians actually tells you about how native americans and so-called african americans were intermingling so how to say that oh they were tribal and they were separate you you have a number of uh, accounts just in the book of black indians alone that shows that these people were intermarrying so to say that the so-called negro is is um judah well how do we determine that? Because the native women were sleeping with the quote unquote slave men. The the slave women were sleeping with some of the native American men. So how do we now determine who is who? And then I, I do want to actually get into the scripture soon because I know a big part of. Um, Absolutely. God. And then a big part, because a big part of the, um, the, the understanding on both sides uh, come from 49 Deuteronomy 30, uh, excuse me, Deuteronomy 49. I'm sorry, Genesis 49, Deuteronomy 33. So I don't want to but I do want to, um, I did just want to uh, make that point because uh, that was that was my question. My question is how, who is Judah? It was said the so-called Negro. And depending on the, the, the sign that you look at it, it's say African-Americans, quote unquote, um, so-called Negroes. Um, so I do want to know what, determines what a negro is and um i also want somebody to deal with you know even the the interracial quote-unquote or intertribal uh marriages that were going between slaves and native americans uh and I got then we'll kind of get to rolling i got you just uh, all i ask is just be patient because you know you you're, you're you're asking a lot of questions and kind of moving past the first question like if the first question hasn't been answered, so just be a little patient, the, right? The first question as far as who is the Negro, I mean, who is Judah? 
how do we know who Judah is? God, well, I, I, I still say that, that that was an answer, but that it, okay. So that's why I'm just saying, be patient, oh, bro. Yeah, God, go ahead. And, and, and that's because you guys ask questions in between because you're well, asking, I, you're asking for. 1500 years worth of history to be summed up in three minutes when i'm trying to give you at least an intro to anthropology so that this way you could understand how people moved and then you start asking for information during specific centuries which throws off the the overview well, you get what well I'm specifically saying? i'm i'm specifically asking for references one and two I've, I've taken classes in anthropology it was actually a part of my university study so uh and the rest of us up here are pretty adept in um, anthropology as well, especially because brothers have done some traveling and brothers have um, also, you know, spoken to a number of these people who were leaders in this particular culture. So we don't need an introduction inside of it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Dom. Well, well, the reason why it's still important is because the audience haven't done that though. So these brothers is also trying to, um, from their position dealing with that subject, uh, walk slow walk the audience we understand that the brothers up here are well studied um so we just have to keep that in mind as well are you god i just was saying uh you know when we're speaking let's try because i i know it's kind of on the fly and it's not like we got powerpoints in our face and it's not a zoom conference so we can't look at the screen but i'm just asking brothers uh, if they can i know y'all wasop is really good with this to provide the reference when they're speaking or when they're reading or can you give us the quotation so that way it doesn't seem like assertion or conjecture because just like in verses just like in gfg it's like if, if you don't have the information then we we're chucking it out the window it's not substantiated so that's all i'm asking for just making sure that we I, get i got you I don't, I now th that. this it's kind of like the first uh, I'm going to backtrack to the first question, but first I'm going to deal with the intermingling. Uh, the intermingling between the Native American Indians in North America with the Negroes is a very understood topic. I own uh, the, the Black Indians, very good book. Uh, I, I tell everybody to get that book because it also shows how we have to be the Israelites over here because we were on the cotton plantations right we were in slavery with the quote unquote negroes but when it's when we say negro right the reason why we're saying this is it's a colloquial term to help you understand what the what the sign is dealing with when we say negro we are talking about the so-called black people that were brought in slave ships that's what we're talking about so if a father just happens to be a native american just because you look like a negro guess what you're a Native American. You'll be a Gadite. It, it's, it's, you know, it's, I think it's that simple. And then, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure in the future build, y'all going to want uh, proof about the Gad. And But first, let's deal with Judah. Okay. Let's deal with Judah first. Like Katha said, and, and I'm about to say now, yes, there was uh, a lot of people don't know this. Only 5%, and this is historically proven, only 5% of the so-called Negroes were brought to America, right? The other, uh, I believe it was 15% were brought to the Caribbean islands and, and scattered throughout Central and, and South America, uh, and, and, and excluding Brazil, right? And then the other 80% was brought to Brazil. I, I, I know this, I understand that, I don't have a problem with it. But there's a, there's a special distinction between the people in America and the people outside of America. And I'm, I'm, I'm about to show you something biblically, right? First, we're going to go to Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. It says, the thing that has been is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there's no new thing under the sun. So... All throughout the Bible, and I'm pretty sure uh, you brothers in True Nation would agree with me, there are prophecies that we can apply to today's time. We always go to Judges 5 and 11. Rehearse the righteous acts, right? We try our best to do what the Lord says to do. When we know... ...thing that was applied in ancient times. And we can also see that all throughout the Bible. Right. That's why Romans 15 and four also says uh, that which was written aforetime was written for our learning. 
So you have to understand that the Lord showed a lot of what he's going to do in the future was what he did in the past. I believe that's Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10, right? So let's just go here real quick. Let's go to Daniel, right? Now, y'all yeah, brothers can agree with me. Uh, real quick, yes or no question, even though I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but for the people in the audience, America is Babylon, correct, Darash? We agree, God. All praises out. This is Daniel chapter 1 and verse 3. And the king spake unto Eshapanaz, Eshepa, Salaki, if I butchered the name, uh, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the princes, children in whom was no blemish, but favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science and had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they teach, Salakia, and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. So this is something that happened in ancient Babylon. We just read in Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 that there's no new thing under the sun. So in modern day Babylon and Neo Babylon and mystery Babylon, the daughter of Babylon being America, they did the same thing. This is why the quote unquote Negroes or quote unquote African Americans of America invented practically almost everything you see. Were the top scientists and top men in knowledge for everything you see. And who are the king seed? The king seed is the tribe or lineage of David, which is the tribe of Judah. So the Bible is giving us clues right here who would be in America, right? And if we can also go right here, and then from there, uh, I yield, right? Let's let's go to, uh, oh, Salakia. I just hit something on my laptop. My bad. Uh, this is First Chronicles chapter 5 and verse 2. For Judah prevailed above his brethren, and he came the chief ruler. Now, if you look at the Negroes in America, right? You look at the Michael Jordans and, Le and, and LeBron James, right? You look at the Hank Aarons and Willie Stargers of baseball and the Floyd Mayweathers of boxing and Mike, and Mike Tysons. The quote-unquote African-Americans in America, the Negroes, the Judites from the lineage of David, excel above everybody in every single category on earth. When, wh whether it comes to physicality, whether it comes to some of the most pristine inventions and scientific uh, uh, discoveries all throughout the decades since they came here and since they've been here. Well, this was done in ancient Babylon. So ancient Babylon was able to have some pristine inventions right like the battery i don't know if you brothers know about the battery that was found in ancient babylon right just throwing that out there real quick well that was found during the time of the sixth century bce and we know who was there in the land of babylon in the sixth century bce that was the children of israel the Baghdad right? battery right 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 so you also see this being mirrored here in America. So this is just one way I come to the logical conclusion that the quote unquote Negroes or the people that were brought here in slave ships to the to North America, to the United Snakes of America, are the children of Judah. With that idea. Um, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Top. Not a problem. I'll start from the end. Um, in First Chronicles chapter five, verse two, for Judah prevailed above his brethren, if him can the chief ruler, is not describing anything to do with America or blacks being talented in America. That's actually explaining what we're reading in Hebrews chapter seven and verse fourteen, and what's also mentioned in the book of Genesis. May someone get Hebrews chapter seven and verse fourteen. Hebrews chapter seven and verse fourteen. For it is evident that our lords, it is evident that our lord sprang out of Judah. That our lord sprang out of Judah. That's what it's mentioned in First Chronicles chapter five, verse two, and it says, "For Judah prevailed above his brethren, and of him came the chief ruler." That chief ruler is referencing is Christ. 
also the same prophet that you read in the book of Genesis in chapter 49, when it says that, and we'll go ahead and get it, get the book of Genesis. Let's go ahead, get chapter 49. Which verse? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and get verse 8. Verse, Genesis, Genesis verse 8. Con, Genesis chapter 49, verse 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. So why would the other tribes praise Judah? Because Judah is the tribe that Christ came out of. The same reason why that precept is there in First Chronicles chapter 5, verse 2. For Judah prepared above his brethren, of whom came the chief ruler. Read on. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. And that's actually all we need from that. From there, let's actually go ahead. I just want to bring that point out that that's what it's explained in First Chronicles chapter 5 and verse 2. Um, the other point that was made, and the brother can actually, um, who is the brother Yawasab, can correct me on the part that I did not get 100% correct. He mentioned that only 5% Negroes were brought here to America, 80% to Brazil. Is that correct, brother Yawasab? Yes. Okay. Um, so, again, if we know generally... Now you correct me if I'm wrong. The Negroes were said to be identified as who? Y'all, what's up? Judah. Okay, so the Negroes were said to be identified as Judah. Only 5% were brought to the North American region, 80% to Brazil. How then can we say that the North American Blacks, only 5%, are in fact Judah? to be able to be identified as far as a particular whole of people no and problem. then the West Indian Blacks being no solely it's, identified. Go ahead. Yeah, no problem. It's very easy to be understood. It's why you got to walk with us, right? So let's deal with Judah first. Before you start asking about Benjamin, we can actually go each tribe at a time. I don't have a problem with that. We started with Judah. So let's go Judah first. I don't think you kind of heard me. Right. That's why you have to listen very closely. Nobody said that Judah was nowhere else. This is why on the on the and I can take a picture of the sign that we use. It's in our school. I can literally I'm in the school. I can take the picture of it now. It says Negroes. Right. What Daraj asked is, how do we know that the Negroes in, um, in North America are Judites? This is what he asked. Right. Son, and I was asking, so, how do you indicate a Negro? Like what, what is a, no, that's, what that would you consider a Negro? Like the, that was, that was the second question. Yeah, that was like, that was not the second question. That was like the fifth. No, 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 no I'm saying that was the right, follow everything question down. to that particular one. But go ahead. Go ahead. Yo. I got you. I, yeah, you good, King. Cause I'm writing everything down. I'm listening very closely to everything y'all saying. So now when I went to the Negroes in North America, I showed how they were of the lineage of David. Now, are there Judites in Brazil? We already discussed that and said yes. This is why on the sign it says Negroes. They're they're in Brazil. They're in Mexico. They're in Puerto Rico. They're there. I don't have a problem with that. Why do you think we say, who's your father? Taino Indian? Oh, oh, he came off a slave ship? I've met people from Puerto Rico that said, yeah, I'm not that, you know. My family uh, came off a slave. Literally, this is what they told. Oh, shit, you're not even a damn. I need, damn, oh, shit. So like it for the language, so like it for the language. But w when, I, when, when I began to demonstrate who the Negroes are in America, can you, uh, for instance, can you, like, rebut that? Oh, that's what I'm waiting for. You said when you demonstrated what? Once again... The, the argument is not about Israelites being in these locations. The argument is actually whether or not you can prove, substantiate that they belong to a particular tribe. So far, that has not been able to be substantiated yet. All right, cool. So the Negroes in America, the people that were brought off of slave ships to North America, you're saying they weren't proved what tribe they were? Negative. I'm saying that you cannot okay. substantiate or Daniel, prove when I, Daniel, that... Chapter 1 from 3 to 5, when I went to Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and 9, um, it, it, that's not substantial. If not, we could just move on. 
No, that's not substantiating that the Israelites are in fact proved by identity by those particular land masses and not by genealogy. So no, that hasn't been substantiated. Wait, wait, so uh, yeah, yeah, so let, let me ask him a question. I'm, I'm sorry, Salaki, so, so like, yeah, so, yeah, top. So you don't know your tribe is what you're saying? Is that's what you're telling me? You cannot prove who your tribe is. Uh, okay, so uh, that's not what I asked you, though. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if I asked you, what, what's your nationality? You're going to tell me what? You just asked, do I know? No one is being able to substantiate and prove. I just I, I'm, I'm just, I listen, man, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just asking you a simple question. If I asked you, what's your nationality, what would you tell me? I'm an Israelite. You're an Israelite. What tribe are you from? You cannot substantiate your tribe, sir. This is circular reasoning. So I'm um, so I'm just I'm just trying to understand. So you would tell me if I'm asking you that you don't know your tribe, but you just believe yourself to be an Israelite. Again, you restating the same question as making it seem as if it doesn't make sense. You cannot prove or substantiate your tribe. No I mean, because I'm 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 tribe. asking you a straight question, but I'm not getting a straight answer. So if you if you just want to say you don't know your tribe, that's fine. I would accept that answer. Tob, can I say something? That's a fallacy. Can I say yeah, hold on one moment. It, yeah, it's yeah. it's, it's just... not it's not a fallacy. Like I'm just saying, if you if you just, if you want to tell me, based off your understanding, that you don't, because I'm I'm asking you a straight up question, and I'm just asking for a straight up answer. It's gotcha. just a line of logic. It's not, it's not based not upon dialogue. my understanding. Hold on one minute, brother. It's not based on my understanding. Based on these scriptures, you cannot one substantiate one, one your second. tribe. So so just if you could just say, you would tell him. If if you were to explain it to somebody on the street, right? Somebody on the street came and asked you, you would just say, "No, I don't. I'm, I don't know that." That's fine to just answer that question like that, please, just so the bill can continue, because these are just kind of, you know, stumbling blocks to the conversation, and it's been a great bill. We could just answer straight questions, both sides. Yay, yay, nay, nay. I don't know. I don't know. And then if you want to go to the Bible to back up your yes or your no. Or your I don't know, then that's fine. I mean, I mean, Dominic, I'm I'm asking for a very specific reason. Yeah, I, you know I what know, I'm saying? I know, and if, I know. And that's that's how we also do on the platform too, uh, Darash Kamatez. If if you get asked a yes or no question or a I don't know question, you can give those answers straight for the audience and then substantiate it with the script. God, well, really, the reason on, why, with all due respect, Dominic, is that sometimes those are loaded questions which are already asked with a particular bias. So, or a box question. So that's why I'm asking to rephrase the question. So the box well, that, loaded question. That, that's fine if it's a box question. You can get out the box by a scripture. That's how you get out the box. I, I think what, so so what Yatab is saying, right? Katz is asking him, what is his nationality? He said, he's an Israelite. He said, what tribe are you from? He's telling, and this is the whole conversation that's being had. He's saying, as it pertains to the scriptures, as it pertains to, because again, we don't subscribe to the, the 12 tribe sign, we there is no definitive way to prove your tribe that is that is all that he's su- would he say he's southern kingdom yeah uh, you would have to ask him that i'm not sure your are you southern kingdom basically upon the historical and demographic information that you brought but, out but how do you but how do you know if, uh, uh, if oh, okay rise, well it, again, uh, can, can I, I, let, let him answer explaining. and this is why we need yeah what's up if you don't I'm know where he's gonna explaining. finish nobody knows that if that's why we need yes or no answers and then he can explain that's what i was saying that I was... Point, right that just happened right there can i say so, something when you finished out yeah and, w- and when you're done to zai one i'm gonna just have the same dialogue with you because i think i might get a straight answer from you i, I ain't got time to be chasing my tail in circles when you could just say i know or i don't know well actually the to salaki bishop real quick um the the conversation is actually led by your time and myself you could if, if you would like you could you could uh, pose the question to myself Oh, okay, that's how. You, okay, okay. So he's he's got he's a moderator here. I'm not looking at this screen here. Okay, so your tab is in the question. Anybody else standing with your tab, or is it? Is yeah, it just so you? it's myself, your tab, Bishop Tazai Juan, who's mainly here to point make. Yashimai is what a point make. Um, but the the main the lead teachers in this conversation will be myself or your tab. Okay, and and just so y'all know, when we're asking, you understand, very specific questions. Like, just, you could just answer them. That's why Yawasab said, would you consider yourself Southern Kingdom? And now you're trying to tell me according to our understanding, but I'm asking you according to your understanding. 
Like, y'all are supposed to be teachers, too. Y'all got a whole camp set up X, Y, Z. Like, for example, Yawasa, are you from the north or the southern kingdom? Northern. Captain Zark, are you from the north or the southern kingdom? From the motherfuck, excuse me, from the southern kingdom. So like <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? So, 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 Yatab, are you from the north or the southern kingdom? And before I answer that, y'all, what's up? That's an ad hominem. You're attacking the person rather than the issue. So, what do you mean? Look at that. Wait, 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 that's, wait that's not a, a moderator. We'll, that's we'll, not an we'll ad hominem. We'll determine what the ad hominems are. That, that, right. You know, it was well, I'm, I'm sorry, what, what did y'all, what's up, say? That no, was that wasn't an ad hominem. <laughs> That was not an ad hominem. It was not an ad hominem. Huh? The, the ad hominem was, was. One second, you're tired. One, sec one second, okay. you're tired. No one second. The question he asked you was, was you from the northern or southern kingdom? That's not an ad hominem. That's actually on subject because you believe you're an Israelite. So on subject, you have one side that has a 12 tribe chart that says you from this tribe, you from this tribe, you from this tribe. And then you have you guys that you say you don't subscribe to that particular 12 tribe chart. <laughs> So they have to get your thought process to say if you if you let's say if you say you northern kingdom, we, they would have to understand why based on your premise. Just like you need to understand why he's from Ephraim, or why I said I'm from Judah, but I'm not in a debate. I'm just using myself as an example. That's not an right. ad hominem. He's yes. not talking slick. He's not right. being subtle. He's asking a direct question, which he has every right to. And that's not what I'm saying is the ad hominem. The ad hominem that he stated was that you have a whole congregation is set up that. First preface that he said. Oh, that wasn't Yawasa. That was Katiza. That was followed. Katiza. And, My and apologies. Even, even even that, that's a that's not an ad hominem. It's it's a fact. You have a camp, and so he was explaining that he wants you to teach your position like you would teach at your camp. I don't. I didn't see that was an ad. Yeah, I'm. I'm, sa I'm saying you represent you. You are on this platform as a teacher. I'm saying that you have established an organized structure. And I'm requiring and requesting that since you have that to teach on this platform, I not from my not from my understanding, but from your understanding based on what we're asking. Hey, the definition right. of that's what I'm saying. That wasn't the case. Right. All right, hold on, 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 hold on. I'm gonna give the definition of ad hominem. This is the definition of ad hominem um, of an argument or reaction directed against a person rather than the position they are maintaining. He did not attack the person. He attacked the position that he's maintaining. Second definition, in a way that is directed against the person rather than the position they are maintaining, in a way that relates to or is associated with the particular person. He did not attack the top personally. He's talking about what he's teaching. That's the definition of ad hom. All right, let me make a point. With all due respect, a lot of people on this platform probably don't even know what an ad hominem is. <laughs> So, hey, check this out. Me, I want to make this point. What tribe am I or do I know my tribe? This is Taziawan speaking, the bishop of true nation, right? I don't know. Why is it that I don't know? It's because I can't prove it. I don't have a pedigree that shows and substantiates that my lineage goes back to any particular tribe. Whole lot of us not only do we not know our fathers half of us don't even know our father what proof do you have it's been a whole lot of a whole lot of talk and not a lot and, and not a lot of evidence shown in regards to me being southern kingdom or northern kingdom we're, we're guessing even with that you don't know hey to zaiwan you don't know you can't prove it because I want your action. I'm glad that you just said everything that you just said, because okay. your That's your 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 action. So not only is it the straightest answer that I've got so far, but you you're now about to not only prove why this conversation is so important. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Leading into my next line of questioning. So you believe, based off of what you teach, that we can't know what tribe we are. So then, how then? Are we now to believe that anybody on this panel is then an Israelite if we didn't know our fathers, if we yeah. went into captivity, if we don't know who we are? So now if we take it off the tribes for a minute, right, we'll get right mm -hmm. back into the tribes. Mm -hmm. What are you now utilizing then to substantiate your claim as an Israelite? I'm, and I'm glad you went there because I knew that that's where we needed to go. We don't need the extras.
No, 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 we do need the extras, but this this is going to segue into my point, you understand, in a moment. But in the meantime, so for example, right, y- y- y'all have eliminated North or Southern Kingdom, right? Yeah, yeah, y'all don't want y'all no 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 when I say when I say when I say eliminated, just hear me out. When I say eliminated, I'm talking about as far as what the claim could be. So now we're not going tribes, we're not going in the northern southern kingdom, we're just gonna stick with the nation as a whole of an Israel's as Israel. Now, what are you now since since you can't prove your pedigree, since we don't know our fathers, you know what I'm saying? What are you now utilizing to substantiate the claim you're in Israel? Oh, that's simple. I the fact that the scripture says only Israel by name has kept thy precepts. That's that's how we know. Here's the thing, God. When you want to speak specifics, there's a whole lot of things that we can do in regards to going and getting actual proof because y'all haven't really brought out any actual proof that our people, the people that came over here, even through prophecy, because, you know, scriptures can be brought out through prophecy that the people that we now call so-called African-Americans, American blacks, even Negroes, if you want to call it that, so-called uh, 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 ten tribe, whether you want to call them Mexican, Argentinians, you know, uh, wh- whoever you want to talk about, that these people, as a majority, descend from the lost tribes of Israel. Yeah, that's what we do. But where's the proof that we can say, all right, and by the way, this is also my tribe. It's ridiculous because it can't be proved. All right, cool. So so that so so that so that didn't answer my question. And 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 I just want you to know you just did what you claimed we were doing earlier, right? No, like like for example, earlier, earlier hear me out for a second. Hold on, slow hold on hold on to Rosh. Let me let me you see you see I'm saying don't don't do that. Hold on. Every time I respond, don't interrupt me now. Yeah, well, 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 to be fair, I'm I'm the only, hold on, Dom, hold on. I'm the only hybrid here, right? So I'm a moderator, but I'm also one of the main speakers. But I was just saying, I was just, yeah, but here's the thing. The reason why this is the case is because I'm the moderator on our side because brothers don't understand the whole layout of this my the brothers that are on the stage with me that's why i ended up here no i get, but what, I am you're saying, dude, I get what you're saying dude, but, Rush, but i could take your same position but i only stay in a moderator capacity i'm even killed i don't care about either side right now because that's what you have to be as a moderator as a hybrid what you'll be able to do you'll be able to shut kataza up no 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 but this is what i was doing though i was expressing the kataza let Tazai want land his plane. Tazai want didn't land his plane. We allowed Katsuzai to speak earlier for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm fine with all we that. Also, you, you, you get what I'm saying? And, and y'all also interrupted me three to four times during it to ask questions I, to I gain understanding. Question, I didn't cut you off to continue, at, to continue on a point, you, though. I right, just asked you. You, that's, you, that's you would. That we have that's when it's a point. popcorn style build. Brothers don't right, kind of like do that and let the planes my, land. But right, that's what I was going to say. Nobody did, though. Nobody right, and that's what I was gonna say, Dom. Right, and that's what I was gonna say, Dom. For the Raj, if you keep interrupting as a moderator, you kind of have an advantage over the brothers in the room that are not moderators but are in the debate. That's why usually a moderator just moderates the debate and the combatants debate in the debate. And so we just make sure everything is at a level playing field. It makes it unfair. And this well, is why the things the you're saying that I've done, you're actually doing right now. You know what I'm saying? And for example, my point of even interjecting right now is because earlier when I spoke as Tazaiwan did, y'all said, can I get sources? Can you prove this? When you were asking a question and I was just giving you the narrative. Now, my question was not answered. I started off by saying that we're going to just remove the tribes for a moment. We're going to remove the North and the Southern Kingdom for a moment. And I asked, how then do you prove you're an Israelite? And all I got was, well, there's prophecies, there's this, and That's and you know we don't right. believe this. Yeah, so, so so if we could <laughs> if we could just if we could just so now you're gonna take me to a scripture. So you're gonna take me to a scripture. You're Absolutely. not gonna take me to archaeology. You're not gonna take me to DNA. You're not gonna take me to proving a pedigree. You you're you're, you're, you're not you're not gonna do none of that. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to take me to a scripture and make me believe that this applies to you i don't know if i'm gonna make you believe anything but i'll take you to a scripture i think you did more talking than all of us so 
I, I mean, I well, I, since since since, <laughs> since I was a part of the dialogue and you were a moderator, that's why because I was yeah. asked to speak. That's well, the I, difference. I was told that I would I be the point a point man, so I'm, I'm making the point. Right. And, and the reason as to why you're a point man now is because we addressed you. So since you're on point, can you actually answer straight up and to the point? Absolutely. Then come on with it. All right. Well, go to Second Ezra chapter three. This is really bad. Well, mercy. Second Ezra uh, chapter three, and we can kind of get uh, straight to the point. Get thirty six. Second Ezra is three and thirty six. Thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. So I think we believe the same thing in regards to this scripture. Only Israel by name has kept the Most High's laws. When you go back in history, the reason why you can reference people in West Africa, oh, they're Israelites. Why? Because not only were they keeping a lot of the same customs and laws that the Israelites, the biblical Israelites were keeping, but they still do. We know that because we were in West Africa not too long ago. All right. We can go to, to more scriptures if, you, if need be. We can take it to the New Testament. Go to the book of Romans. So uh, just a, quali a clarifying question. Is, is the basic answer for you going to that precept to say only Israel has kept thy precepts? And since you're keeping the precepts, that's how you know you're an Israelite? Here's the thing that I'm saying. All right. That's the only thing outside of other things that we're collecting in history, archaeology, so on and so forth, that we can actually go on. It's the fact that the thing that we know about these people is that they resemble the Israelites of the Bible through how they live. Like the scripture talked about in Genesis when Esau and Jacob uh, were talked about. They said that two different manner of people would be separated from her bowels. Uh, uh, the word are you manner, talking about the people in West Africa, just so I could walk with you? Say that again. Are you talking about the brothers in West Africa, just so I'm walking with you? I reference them. And you're saying you descend okay. from no, them, no, and that's no, why you no, would no, be no, an no, Israelite? No, no, Do you know no, that no, all no, of the no, tribes no, in West point. Africa say they're of the Northern Kingdom? Hold on. Let me make my point. Every single one says they're the Northern Kingdom. Mm. That, that's here's that's the, not here's true, but, but Whether or not they say they're the Northern Kingdom, hey, it is what it is, because that's not my point. All right, so now let me finish. Yo, but, hold, but hold on. Yeah, you didn't answer. Better, hold on. Just I, real I quick, real quick. If I could clarify something here, right? Because, Dom, I think you're just as confused as me. Baba Kasha. You're, you're not going to be affected it, at, at putting us on our heels like we put y'all on y'all heels. So I Listen, I, I, I hear you. But, point. no, he, he, here's let my point, though, my because point. let me just let, clarify let me something. Let me my plane. Let me finish I, my point. You're going to land your plane without answering the question, though. Or, like, this is what I'm trying to say, right? I asked you. I asked you how you determined it, and you brought up a scripture and said, I think we both agree on this. How does that apply to you, to Zaiwan? What do you mean, how does it apply yeah, that's, to me? That's what, what I asked you. I asked you. I, I, I asked you, you mean, mean, okay, I'm, I'm, this is why I said let me clarify so you could answer thoroughly. I want to hear you speak. You said you want to run point. You on point now. So, with you being on point, here's what I'm asking you. I said, how are you an Israelite? You brought me to a scripture that says... Israel by name has kept thy precepts. How does this apply to you? Now you brought up that there's tribes in West Africa who have kept the commandments. Are you saying you descend from and that you are a, a, a direct descendant of them and as a result in tracing your, your, your lineage, Sir. you're saying that these people who have kept the laws I descend from and that's how I know I'm an Israelite? So I ask you, Sir. how do you know you're an Israelite? You're not good at doing this. Let me finish my point. You're trying to take me off into some some no, idiocracy. No, he, you, you're that don't have no, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That ahead. has nothing. That has nothing to do with the point that I'm making. It I has nothing to do. Your point, point has nothing to do with the question I asked. Brother, brother, let the no, brother finish. Yeah, let that brother finish. You're I'll, asking I'll, multiple I'll questions. That. I'll let him. I'll let let, let, let me finish answering the question that I'm answering. All right. Have that much respect. You know the question that you're answering, right, Bishop? At this point, I damn near don't know because he talked. Okay, too much. I'm, let me let me re, <laughs> let me restate it. Let me let me restate it. How do you? Are, look, let, actually, let me not say. Is this the name. initial question that I was answering, no, or no, is this no, one of the ones no. you just I wanna, asked? I'm asking you a question about the scripture that you brought forth. 
Is that scripture that you brought forth? How that scripture you was answering were... a question before you're asking me this question right no. here, based on so the no, the, they're the same. Okay, I see where disconnect is. It's, yeah, this is a different. This is a different. Okay, this is a different question there for you. Okay, I answer how your question. You What's know, the question? How, uh -huh. how do you how do you prove? That you're an Israelite. That's what the question I was asked. Then you went to Second Edges chapter three. The brother said, "Does that apply to how you know you're an Israelite? Is that what you would tell or teach somebody if they this, ask you how you know you're an Israelite?" That's what this, we want to know. This, this is this is why I am confident that I'm an Israelite, and I pray that I don't hear otherwise when I go to meet <laughs> judgment when I go to meet your house shot. All right, through a number of different things. One thing that I brought out. Historically speaking, even when we wasn't doing everything right, we had customs, we had laws that we kept. People throughout the world still do the same thing. We still see that throughout the various different countries in the world. How do I know that? Because we actually talk to these people, we deal with these people, and we've actually gone to visit some of these people. They're still keeping a lot of the same customs. They still have a, a, a dietary law. Uh, different uh, uh, aspects of the feast, uh, uh, different things like when a woman's unclean. Uh, 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 what do they have to do with you, Tazaiwan? Can I finish? I'm asking can, about can you. I, can I finish? Can, can you finish? get to the point? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, can you shut up? Let him land and then you can. Damn. Kajizai, you can refute and say he didn't answer the question because you, not, said, <laughs> you guys didn't answer the question. So that's just let him land. And then you guys can go into whatever you want to go into. He's so, not going to be able to do me the way y'all try to do people. I'm, I, you're not going to be able to do me like that. So you, just you don't chill have to out. say that. You can just go ahead and, and sit back, it. rookie. Sit back. All right. So check this out. So so is that an ad hom yeah, or that's, not? That's an ad yeah, hom. So, hey, that is so I yeah, I, I appreciate it. Hey, ad hom. Hey, that's ad -hom. an ad hom. You supposed to be for professional that ass, here. Respect. You see that? <laughs> did the same right. thing. Like, see, right now, did the same. He did not. He did not call nobody out their name. Listen, that's an ad can I finish? Can if you I can finish? be professional, you can finish. That's that's the whole point of you having that bean to carry a certain level of professionalism. Uh, we've been I very professional. The word, but y'all not, not. What y'all trying to do is y'all trying to come in. I'm not trying to do anything because I'm not debating. Y'all trying to control want, the tempo of the game. I, I got want. the ball. Let me if you know, because I want you notice the only time I chimed in yeah, was to give do, the definition. Yeah, because I want the only time I chimed in was to give the definition of ad hom because your top accused Kadazai of it, which he did not. But you just name called Kadazai, which is by definition a ad hom. If I have to read the definition again, it says I, I, an I argument or reaction directed against a person rather than the position they are maintaining. And that's listen, what you did by proxy. Listen. So be professional. You can you got the time. You got the floor from here. But I've, be I, professional. The reality of it is this. This is the reality of it. Because I'm going to be laughing, still cool with everybody, not taking no offense after this is over. I've seen you debate. And you already know that this right here is a debate at this point. So let's not play games. Come on now. Well, Let no, me finish. I'm not in with all due respect, we don't have debate. to talk about debate tactics. We don't right. have to mention that at all. What is a debate right. by definition? It's, it's almost like you're trying to look for an excuse to name No, no, no. Come on. Well, let's Come on. Just what be is a debate by definition? Can y'all explain? This your leader? Let me this your leader? my point. Be professional. Like, let's, let's, yeah, let's reset. Let's reset a little bit. Yeah, if I may say one thing. Let's go ahead and reset the room. The Raj, may I say one thing out of one? The best thing to do, right, and especially going forward, it is what it is right now unless you want to actually send people down and take away green beans. I think the best thing to do is always have moderation and then have the people who are having the discussion without green beans. The, you see how we do it on the verses, right? I, I, I. I don't like Christianity, right? Let me give a perfect I despise Christianity, right? But I would have a Christian's back if he's not being treated correctly on the platform if I'm a moderator. And that's what's going on here right now. Uh, that there needs to be actual moderation. I don't see that going on. I don't see that going on at all. So I think that's an issue that could either be solved now 
or something that has to be talked behind the scenes to be solved in the future so we can have future builds when it comes to doxing. But I definitely want to continue this conversation. Hey, Dominic, I, I got a question. A issue with it. The issue hey, Dominic, I got a question. Is, I'm, not being, uh, hold on. I'm not being respected or captain as the moderator. Because when we talk, everybody else is supposed to meet up. That's how moderation works. Because we're only unmiking to bring the conversation back and to give clarity for the audience. That's the only reason why we even unmute or if there's a disagreement. So when we unmute, everybody else is supposed to mute up. That's how moderation is successful. So if we don't have that happening, then we don't have moderation. We just got people in the, uh, with green beans making points as they see fit. I get it. Go ahead, uh, I, I got I got a quick question, Don. Go ahead. I, I just want to know uh, why the brother's answer is not being accepted. Uh, this is two accounts, just me listening. He brought out to prove as to how he knows he's an Israelite by the keeping of the commandments. I just want to know why that isn't being taken as an answer. Be because I asked him. This is why. Because I asked him specifically. I said so. Did you bring us to this scripture? Because it was accepted. I accepted the answer. I just wanted to clarify that that's the answer that he was giving for God, sure. God, I, and I heard so, you so say I'm that. Asking, this is what I asked. Brother this, is what I, this is what I asked. God, I, asked him, I said, did you bring us to Second Edges chapter 3 to show how you are an Israelite? And are you, are you saying that because you keep the precepts, that that's how you know you're an Israelite. I asked that for clarification for both parties and the audience. And then Bishop proceeded to say, hey, let me finish and let me continue making my point. And he actually used the words and said, there's many other points to go to show this as well. So that's where we are right now in the conversation. That was understood. I'll, I'll go ahead and mute my mic. So, so now can I continue or, you know, what can I do? I mean, if you could answer the question, because I still haven't heard an answer concerning you. I heard West Africa. I heard everybody, but how you're an Israelite. All right, I'm, 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 I'm gonna say it slowly this time. I hope y'all listening, just like the brother told us earlier. Make sure you're listening. All right. The reason why I hope that I am an Israelite, I'm pretty confident that I'm an Israelite. Right? Are these things? All right. One of the things is I descend from people who are a product of the transatlantic slave trade. All right. That's one thing. Another thing is once I heard this truth, once I heard this being taught to me, this was something that clicked. This was something that not only I said, you know what, I want to hear more about that. Whoa, that's making sense. But it's also something that I took into my life and I said, you know what? Let me keep the commandments. Let me do my best to try to do what's pleasing to the most high according to his word and keeping the commandments. All right. Along with that, people that look like me, people that are along the lineage of those that were said to be brought over here through the transatlantic slave trade. Right. Even when you look at archaeology. Right. You go not only. Africa, various different places in so-called Middle East, Asia Minor, all throughout Europe, when you know a little bit of that history, you see people that look like my people. All right. I, I guess I could pull more, but do you need any more? Or can I get to my point? Because I almost lost. I forgot what I was saying because you're asking me other questions. OK, I actually I've been asking you the same question. And so far now is the only time you've actually gotten in the realm of 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 answering it. So just to just to clarify and, make sure, and to make realm. sure that I yeah in the realm. Yeah, right. Because you, you, y'all are still not being succinct. You know what I'm saying? So let me yeah, try to make it a little bit more. Let me try to make it a little bit more succinct, right? Can I can so, I finish before you get to your? Point? I just I just can I clarify I, something I just to make sure that question. we un, that we understand each other. I, okay. Now we're talking. Yeah. Now the discussion is: Can Bishop Desire Juan make another point, or can mm. Captain Katasa clarify and ask another question? Can I make my point? Because I, I don't even want to ask. Question. I don't even want to ask a, a question off topic. I'm trying to just clarify, just to make sure I understood what you're saying. Like, because once again, you're 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 a, you're a teacher. So I'm asking you a question based on what you just taught. And then you can finish your point after after he clarifies. Is that okay? 
go ahead. So, so just so just to clarify, you're you believe that you may, or rather, you're and you have a hope that you're an Israelite because of the prophecy of the transatlantic slave trade that you descend from. So you're saying that that is a spiritual as well as a physical identifying marker that you understand could apply to an Israelite and you identify with that, which is why you believe it applies to you. Is that is that correct? That's part of it, yeah. Also curses oh. that are spoken about in the scriptures. Okay, so also the, the also the I other descend, curses. The people that I descend from, right? I know enough about them to know that they've been subjected to the curses of Deuteronomy. I myself as well in my lifetime have been subjected to the same curses. Okay, okay. No, 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 sir. You, you can finish your point. I just wanted to clarify on that to make sure we're on the same page. I just want to make sure I'm understanding what you said. Okay, so to be in, in all honesty, <laughs> I kind of somewhat know where I was going, but I'm, I, I've been thrown so far off. What I do remember what was spoken about was the northern and southern kingdom situation. All right. So now, generally speaking, we know so-called, I guess, black people, and that can be defined a number of different ways, Negroes, but you also have within them those that we call, you know, uh, Haitians, Jamaicans, whoever else that we might bunch into what we know as the Southern Kingdom, who predominantly came over into the Americans, Americas as slaves, even though we know, according to the scripture, there were also other tribes that were still, you know, a remnant of other tribes still scattered amongst them. Right. And I don't know how much you guys know, but one person can multiply into millions of people within a reasonable amount of generations. You know, so here's the thing. Based off of that, a lot of us say, yeah, OK, Southern Kingdom. Right. I personally don't go around saying, hey, I'm Southern Kingdom. I'll say things similar to what we say in regards to like so-called. Yeah, I'm so-called Southern Kingdom. OK, for the most part, generally speaking, that could work for me. All right. So same thing with Northern Kingdom. Do the same thing. People say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you look the part Northern Kingdom. As far as you know, you don't know for a fact which of your forefathers stepped off the slave ship. Might have already been over here, right? It's a lot to it. A lot of different stops, a lot of different migrating, a lot of folks getting sold here and there, a lot of people just moving different places, right? So that's why I'm not quick to say because I can't definitively give any proof that I am of any specific tribe nor that I'm of either kingdom without a shadow of a doubt. What I will say again is that we hold this faith dear to us. When we talk about faith, you're talking about devotion. Our devotion, you know what I'm saying, puts us in a space to say, you know what, with all of the evidence that we got, in addition to that, the fervency we got, only Israel by name is kept our precept, talks about the zeal that we got. We got a zeal to serve the most high. OK, so that's why we, we 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 heed the call and we teach what we teach. All right. I'm laying that down. All right. So in response to what you just said. Right. So what I'm seeing here is there's actually some hypocrisy going on because the criteria for you believing that you're an Israelite as far as what you teach are spiritual identifying markers inside the scriptures, as well as a couple of historical references, maybe in archaeology or anthropology, that you believe applies to people that you associate with. Now, we then apply that same logic to the tribes, and all of a sudden everything goes out the window, and now all of a sudden that's something we can't prove. When those are the, the, the same thing that you just try, attempted to apply to yourself concerning you being an Israelite is exactly how we determine who the tribes are. So I'm going to give you an example, right? So if we were to turn around now, y'all breathing heavy into the mic, man. I don't, I don't know if you're jogging or something. Y'all mind muting the mic or something? Yeah, kind of everybody mute up like we did, like everybody did. I, I appreciate y'all, right? So for example, right? 
we can go and we can apply the curses to those who we're declaring as the northern kingdom we have gadites north american indians who went into slavery with ships that were taken back and forth between the caribbean and england we have tainos and arawaks who were put on slave ships and taken back to Sevilla, spain so on and so forth to identify them as israelites now what we also have is identifying markers and attributes that go towards each individual tribe that we apply to these tribes the same way you apply to yourself to determine that you were an Israelite. I'm going to give you an example, right? So if I was to go to Deuteronomy, the 33rd chapter, and let's just say 20, right? I'm just going to use the tribe of Gad for now. And it says, and of Gad, he said, blessed be he that enlargeth Gad. Well, ain't nobody enlarged Gad over here, which just goes to show you that the so-called white man is going to be extremely cursed for what they did to the North American Indians, putting them on reservations. He dwelleth as a lion. Now, how do we know that a lion dwells? A lion is a hunter. It stalks its prey. It follows the herds. Well, how did Gad hunt? Gad hunted by turning around and following herds of buffalo. And they would go and they would kill the buffalo and they would follow the migration. They would utilize them for, for tents, to make other bow and arrows, to eat, so on and so forth. The white man knew that to the point where he turned around and hunted the buffalo damn near to extinction because it knew it would affect the North American Indian Gad. Why? Because Gad lives like a lion. Gad hunts by following the herds. He dwelleth as a lion and teareth the arm with the crown of the head. Well, what does it mean to tear your arm? If you take your arm and you rip it back, you understand, from somebody's crown, that's known as scalping. That's what Gad was known to doing to right. his enemies because he hunts like a lion. So now we take a look at this spiritual attribute that applies to Gad and we say, well, who's famous for living like this? Oh, well, that's the North American Indian. Well, we know they're Israelites. Why? Because the curses fit them, just like the curses fit you, brother. And when we look at their stock of people and their migration and how there's writers who attested that they spoke Hebrew, um, how, how they, they, kept, they charted the months from, uh, uh, from the moon. Because we know that we have a lunar calendar, that they had a seven-day Sabbath day, that they separated from their women on their menstrual cycles, that they carried an ark with them when they went to war. We know we could apply what you pulled in Ezra, that Israel only has kept thy precepts. I mean, down to the point that they that they uh, 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 kept their fringes and a border of blue. Matter of fact, I wonder if something like that is in here. So let's read 21 in Deuteronomy 33. And he provided the first part for himself. Because there in a portion of the lawgiver was he seated, meaning mm. Gad, Gad had attempted to take on the priesthood. You understand when Levi was removed from their land, which is why to this day they're still known for wearing fringes and a border of blue, which is why they have shaman, which everybody knows shaman in, in Hebrew is oil. You understand? Because they had spiritual men who would anoint and consecrate people because they were attempting to keep their culture in a land where never a man dwelt. You understand? And he come with the heads of the people. He execute the justice of the Lord and his adjustments with Israel. Meaning what? That these people fit this particular prophecy and spiritual attribute concerning the tribe of Gad. So between the anthropology the archaeology and the prophetic nature of the scriptures the same way you have determined that you are an israelite we have determined that the north american indians are from the tribe of gad and this is only one scripture never mind that gad inside the scriptures i believe in the book of judges used to give smoke signals to signal the other tribes in war which they're known for that today Never mind the fact that it matter that it says a troop shall overcome them. And we know it was F troop, C troop over here in America who overcame them. But they shall overcome at the last because these are the prophetic natures that identify with each individual tribe that we can know this demographic by large has to do with them. Now, are we saying every single individual? No, there's five dollar Indians on the reservation. There's white people mixed in in there that they paid $5 to become a North American Indian. 
So is that every single one of them? No. But we're talking about the bulk of the population who you would identify as a North American Indian. This is the tribe that they would descend from. And if you can apply who you are as an Israelite through the curses, we can apply this to Gad, you understand, through that prophetic nature as well. And if you say otherwise, you're a hypocrite. And if I may oh, add real quick, hold on, let me just add to his point real quick, right? So he went to the prophecy, he added in some archaeology. Let's add in a little bit of history. This is from a book called Wisdom Sits in Places, Landscape and Language Among the Western Apache by Keith H. Basso. I'm going to read page 21. These fields look after us by helping our corn to grow, our children eat it and become strong. We eat and continue to live. Our corn draws life from this earth and we draw life from our corn. The earth is part of us. We are of this place. Juniper tree stands alone. We should name ourselves for this place. We are Gad. The ancient Navajo and Apache retained their tribal name after their ancestor, Gad. I mute my mic. All right, so now I need you guys to do me the same solid that I just did y'all. I'll let y'all talk for quite some time and bring your point across. Please don't interrupt me while I give my point. Okay. Cool. All right. So here's the thing. Number one, we ain't the same. You can't call me a hypocrite because I didn't say anything definitively. I never said beyond a shadow of a doubt. I put that on your how was shy. I'm an Israelite and this is how. That's what you guys are saying in regards to what your tribe is. We got scriptures that show obviously a man was rejected from the priesthood. Because he couldn't prove with his pedigree that he was uh, uh, of the tribe of Levi. Here's the thing. You guys are coming prophetically, prophetically. Okay, well, cool. I'm about to throw it up. I'm going to throw the volleyball up to your time in a second. Because he's going to go over all of those prophecies that you're talking about. And not say, deduct and say, because of such and such, this makes sense. What he's going to do is he's going to show you in scripture what those prophecies were pointing at and now how those prophecies were fulfilled in scripture and are now history he'll do that for you here's the thing hypocrites the very first question that you guys were asked and the evidence that you guys were supposed to bring out you definitely have not brought it out yet at all so it's funny to me that you would call us hypocrites try to over talk us try to you know take the um the tempo and you know adjust it to whatever seems i guess comfortable for y'all but here's the thing i want your top now to come behind me and give you an understanding of the breakdowns of the various different prophecies especially those in in terms of what jacob was talking about in genesis i believe 49 and also and i think deuteronomy 33 can you do that your top yes i can do that um, as much of the moderators would like me to go through as far as um, verse by verse in chapter 49, it is a take, long chapter. Hey, take your time, Mark, because let's, they have they turn. Take your time. Go ahead. Let, let's start with Deuteronomy 33. Let's actually deal with the, the Gad one first, um, because, again, we're dealing with... Um, we're dealing with um, information that can, that can fall under a, a bunch of different time periods, because we talk about the Mayans and the Aztecs as well, who were over come or over who were conquered by the Spaniards so one can argue that a troop overcame them as well um, but I believe that's in Genesis 49 so we'll do what Gad uh, overall we'll do the Genesis 49 side and the Deuteronomy 33 then we'll go ahead and I don't know jump in Dan or Judah um, and then we'll just do probably like four or five tribes show them um, what our explanation is of these things and then we'll pass the ball to them and just for the sake of because I think Katza missed it uh, what we expressed. Hold on, you're gonna that, you're gonna give the explanation of five tribes right now. It doesn't take that long. You, you, you're doing it again. Um, you're doing so, it again. So I, I didn't do this the whole time. I'm just I'm just trying to yeah, clarify. Yeah, yeah, y'all was up. We're, we're gonna do. Can we deal like, with one tribe at a time? 
Well, here's the thing. So this is what I was saying, right? When we read the scriptures, and I think Hatizah may have come in right after I said this, or maybe he heard it, I'm not sure. When we read the scriptures, Genesis 49, which is a big part of where the sign comes from in Deuteronomy 33, can all be answered inside the scriptures, which is why we say that if we're talking about landmass, right, the landmass does not determine, quote unquote, the tribe. We There's never, we never of, said that. You, that's literally what was stated. You said, well, no. not you. I don't think it was. The, I don't think it came out of your mouth. But what was stated was the 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 tribes have always I, w I won't say verbatim this is what was said but basically the tribes have always stuck together even in west africa they were tribal when they came over here that's why you got areas like little haiti yeah and, but yeah and i areas. got you but listen but listen closely hold on y'all no the rush i just want you to listen closely to what you said go ahead y'all what's up that's all. go ahead you, you know you're my man let, let, so let check it out right go ahead. yeah man this I'll, is what you said hold I, on t hold on t I'm trying to understand. And y'all said it was popcorn style, and you're still crying about it. Like I don't understand. Right. Well, well, anyway. because because we gave you copies, right. I'm gonna need you to. I'm gonna need you to. Y'all need to stop because... the games, man. Yeah, we right, right, right. So talk. let this man talk. Be quiet and let him talk. That's disrespectful. Right, so it. That's so disrespectful. Check it out, the rock, right? Uh, okay, on. I got you, Ken. Yeah, yeah, so real quick, y'all. Right? I just wanna, I wanna address Kadaza real quick. Kadaza, the the whole point that Zion was making was that we gave you guys. A decent amount of time. This and, time, and in the beginning, I, this, I I'm going back and forth with you right now. I'm, here, here's so you know, just so you know, in the beginning, when y'all asked your questions, I ain't complain about it. I said I got you, and then after I answered, I said just let me finish. Now, when we gave y'all the same respect, y'all cried about it. But go ahead. Well, well real quick, Katsuzo, because the <laughs> playback, because if you go to the playback, we let you speak for four to five minutes before we asked you a question because you continued on. It didn't land. And we play. waited till he paused. And we, exactly. So <laughs> so let's be fair, Katsuzo. And also, what you're doing is you, you is very is very subtle disrespect. And very, no, nah, it's not subtle look, at all. Wait, no, it well because he isn't he isn't saying anything like you niggas are stupid or anything like that. So what I mean by that is you know he ain't saying nothing off the wall, but it's still disrespectful, disrespect. especially considering I haven't I haven't disrespected anyone up here. So I just want brothers to chill out. Y'all will stop. Go ahead. And then, all right, and then I appreciate, I'm gonna get back I appreciate you. All right, I appreciate you. Now nobody said a geographical location determines your tribe. The ancient people of Mexico are from the tribe of Issachar. That'll be proven. The How ancient people. Of this? How oh, hold on, I'm trying. I'm trying to make. Oh, 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 let I, me talk, man. Can you? I don't chill? know why you let him talk. You see, yeah, you yeah, see the hypocrisy. Talk. You see. Yeah, yeah man. Right, so because that's why. Right. You know what? I'm hold on. Because I actually, right I actually gave it up to your time, technically. Hey, but you can't. Hey, listen. If y'all gonna moderate and he say let y'all stop, go. Then you let Yawasop go. If you got an issue with that, take that up to whoever gave Yawasop the room to go. But right. you can't say nothing to Yawasop, but you still have to yield to Yawasop because that's what the moderator said. That's the power of the green bean. If I was to say, let Tazaiwan go, Kazazai has to be quiet, Shamar, Miles, Yawasop. So I believe the Raj said, let Yawasop go. So Tazaiwan, you got to be quiet. Well, because Yawasop was asking the question, God. Right. He, right. Yeah, but you did exactly. say y'all would stop going. That's, that's yeah, go ahead. Works. Right. So, that's the I difference between a bill and a debate. In a bill, we say, hey, I have a question about that. Hey, you said X, Y, and Z. What about this? And then the other side, that's both sides. I'm not just talking on one side. Doesn't, uh, Bishop, you got to echo if you can uh, mute your mic. The other side doesn't say, hey, you guys are taking to. Bishop, you got to echo if you can mute your mic, please. what the other side doesn't say hey you guys taking too long and we didn't let you guys talk in there, there should that's not that doesn't happen in a build right which is why this has turned into a debate which is why i said at the beginning i suggested a 20 minute hot seat round but this is not a build this is not a build i want to make that abundantly clear this is a debate and we're trying to wing the debate on the fly by saying you guys talk this long now let us talk and you guys be quiet that's not a build a build is hey i didn't understand what you said right there can you clarify that hey um i have this position right here let's talk about this that's how a build works yeah but, but that was a debate is different
Yeah, if but I, Don, that wasn't that wasn't this. what was done. It was it was in the midst of even me, with the exception of Yawa's hop, he was asking the question, which is which is cool. But that wasn't what was going on even when I was talking when Kats is out with hop in when I was speaking. It wasn't for clarification purposes. It was to interrupt. That's what was going on. He literally interrupted me in the midst of my talk. Was it or was it not supposed to be popcorn style? I'm just I'm just wondering because we weren't complaining about it. Y'all were. That's the difference. Popcorn, you but you you're right, Darasha. I should let me rephrase the word. Popcorn style build. A popcorn style build. This is not a popcorn style build anymore. Can we can we please define build. what a pop popcorn style I'm, I'm about is, to I'm, I'm glad you asked. I was just about to say that in my next sentence. So and then secondly, if I could just add, I'm sorry, Dom. Uh if it's gonna be a point to where brothers can't get a chance to get their words out, at least if we can get some type of time system going so we know for sure. Yes, that's exactly what I was gonna suggest. That's what we often do on the guy first game uh, when it gets to this. So a popcorn style build is when, hey, I say something, or I might make a statement, okay? You have a question about that statement, or you don't agree and say, well, hey, I have this position. Can you show me why you think this? On one or two sentences, off of those two things alone, not a whole three or four minutes. Now, brothers allowed people to speak for a, a certain amount of time, just because they felt, okay, this is getting kind of contentious, and so we're going to let him speak. And then now, hopefully, when we speak, we're going to ask him to let us speak and not be interrupted. That's not, that's not popcorn anymore. That's just a regular style bill. So popcorn is, you know, kind of what me and you just did. So I just said something, and you say, hey, Dominique, what's a popcorn style bill? Right? You kind of interrupted me, but it's not really an interruption. It was just, hey, I just want to know what a popcorn style build is. And I got another question. Cool, I acknowledge that. And now I'm explaining what's going on. And then I yield my mic and I'll let you talk. That's a popcorn style build. This here is just trying to figure out who gets to talk in a debate. I've been getting back chat messages. Hey, let him talk. Hey, let him talk. So I think it would be better from here on in if we went to a time structured thing instead of trying to uh, say who talked longer and I made my point and this and that because that's not a build, a popcorn style build. I yield. All right. So, um, real quick, the the thing is this, and I and I'll simplify this really quickly. Um, earlier, it was stated that the tribe, the landmass, does not determine the tribe. Brothers then continued on, and I'm pretty sure somebody is scribing this. You can go back and you can listen to it. Brothers then continued on to explain how these certain land masses possess these certain tribes this is the point that i'm making so to say that the land mass does not determine the tribe then to turn around and explain how these particular tribes are in this particular land mass is it's it's completely contradictory you're literally proving what you were trying to disprove so that's the point that i wanted to lay out there one two the point that we were making was that when you read the scripture genesis 49 as well as deuteronomy 33 every single one of those answers which uh yatab excuse me every single one of those prophecies which yatab is going to go into a few to prove the point it, it can be proven inside the scriptures right that was the whole point of what we were saying and we know that the 12 tribes signed is predominantly based upon Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy 33. But when we read Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy 33, we can show you how every single one of those answers were referenced inside the scriptures, not in what we call, quote unquote, today's time. So that's why we don't adhere to the 12 tribes chart. Kats, as I asked a question earlier, how, do, how does the bishop know that he's an Israelite or he had placed the question on Yatab originally? Very simply put, because I've stated it a billion times, we know that so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are Israelites because of biblical prophecy, of history, and archaeology. That was the whole thing. One of the main ones, which I'm sure Katza adheres to as well, is the curses. Then you can also go into the history of what was going on in West Africa. You can go into the history of the curses that were laid on these people, such as the transatlantic slave trade. And we can show, yeah, there is a very, very strong chance that if you're a descendant of the slave trade, you are an Israelite. That was the point that was being made. And that's what Bishop Tzayiwan was saying. He said he has faith that he's an Israelite because he is a descendant of one of those, uh, uh, excuse me, a descendant of the, uh, the transatlantic slave trade and his spirit bears witness and he's keeping the law. 
that was the whole point. And that's pretty much how any one of us would determine that we're Israelites. But we do not say that we can read prophecy and say, oh, this tribe is here, this tribe is there, or we we identify this particular people group as these particular tribes. And no, it's not hip hypocritical to say that because it's not saying the same thing as what Brother Katsuzawa was saying. So real quick, uh, really quick, uh, however long it ends up taking, if brothers want to ask questions in the midst of it, we can do that as well. Um, Yatab is going to show a couple of the um, the 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 prophecies in Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy 33 and show you how it can literally be explained in the scriptures and is not pertaining to the 12 tribes sign. Go ahead, Tab. And with that, um, two things, if I may. The first question is, are there particular tribes that brethren would like me to break down or tackle? Are there particular tribes that brethren would like me to break down or tackle? That is the first question. I think the best one brought. will be, since we since Katazar brought out Gad, I think the best one will be Gad. Because he brought out prophecy, he brought out archaeology. And I even brought out history of Native Americans that actually said they were from the tribe of Gad. So, you know, I think that'll be the best one. And maybe we could tackle each tribe at a time. Okay, beautiful. That was the first thing. Um, secondly, although it was mentioned, is there any discrepancy concerning how we are able to identify that we are, in fact, Israelites, and that we understand that both historically, prophetically, and archaeologically, that we are Israelites. I know the bishop brought out some scriptures. Are there any additional scriptures that need to be brought out concerning how we at least identify that we are Israelites? That is my second question. No, I, I don't I understand think, that. I I understand what he's saying. Um, he, he wants to know if there's any reinforcement that has to go into the answer concerning how they prove that they themselves are Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't think so. But just know the same reasoning and methodology that you or rather your bishop used to determine that he was an Israelite. We have done the same to determine the tribes and you take issue with it. And that's where I said the hypocrisy comes in at. Okay, thank you. And I would say that um, to Brother Kataza, that is where I disagree, and I can substantiate why I disagree that that is hypocrisy, if you would like me to go ahead and substantiate that. I mean, I think right now, what are we starting with, the rebuttal on Gad? I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, th I think that's where we're at now, you know what I'm saying? Anything else is just extra at this point, so... The whole point was we said Gad is X, Y, Z. Y'all said you can prove otherwise, so show and prove. Let's go ahead and get the scriptures. So let's go ahead and get Book of Deuteronomy chapter 33. And let's get an understanding that scripturally who Gad is and what it's saying in Deuteronomy chapter 33 and in Genesis chapter 49. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 20. And of Gad, he said, blessed be he that enlargeth Gad. Mm -hmm. He dwelleth as a lion. And now he said, blessed be he that enlargeth Gad. Why would he say, blessed be he that enlargeth Gad? Hold that. Get Numbers chapter 32, verse 1 through 5. Numbers chapter 32, verse 1. Now the children mm -hmm. of Reuben and the children of Gad had a so very the great of Reuben and the children of Gad. Read on. Had a very great multitude of cattle, mm -hmm. and when they saw the land of Jezir, the land so of when Gilead, they saw the land of Jezir and the land of Gilead. These were very broad and vast lands. Read on. That behold, the place. Excuse me. The place was a place for cattle. The children so, of Gad. Hold on. That's why he's saying, "Blessed be he that enlarges Gad." because it was due to their conversation and talking both at first with Moses and then with Joshua that allowed them to be able to enlarge their region and in place that they received for an inheritance. Read on. The children of Gad and the children of Roman came and spake unto Moses and to Eleazar the priest and unto the princes of the congregation saying, 
Adaroth and Dibon and Jazir and Nimrah and Hishban and Elilah and Shabam and Nebo and Beyond. Even the country which the Lord smote before the congregation of Israel is a land for cattle. So that thy, country in that land was a large land that was given unto them. Read on. And thy servants have cattle. Wherefore said they, if we have found grace in thy sight, because let this land. Said, Blessed be he that enlarges Gad. Because they said, look, if we have found grace in thy sight, read. Let this land be given unto thy servants for possession. And bring us not over Jordan. So that's why I said in of Gad, he said, blessed be he that enlarges Gad. Now, when we go back to Deuteronomy 33 and verse 20, continue reading on. Deuteronomy 33 and 20. And of Gad, he said, blessed be he that enlargeth Gad. He dwelleth as a lion and teareth the arm with the crown of the head. So now we get, why does he dwell as a lion and tear at the arm with the crown of the head? Two parts. One we're going to hold, we have Numbers chapter 32, but we're going to primarily go to First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 8, and then verse 37. First Chronicles chapter 12 and verse 8. And of the Gadites, there separated themselves unto David, and to the hold to the wilderness men of might and men of war, fit for the battle. So one of the things that was represented of that line, which we know Judah is primarily representative of oftentimes in scriptures as primarily that line. However, we see not the only ones because Gad is mentioned as well, that a lion is known to be a fierce creature. The spirit of a lion is known to be a fierce creature, one that is a very cunning animal, very warlike. And that's the spirit and attribute that's being described that Gad has. And we're going to get scripture to substantiate that. Let's go ahead and continue reading that. In First Chronicles chapter, I mean, to be yes, First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 8. That could and then we're going to jump down to verse 37. Con. That could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lion. And we're as swift as the rose upon the mountains. So that's why that reference that we read in Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 20, as far as he dwelt as a lion and tear the arm with the crown of the head, representing the fierceness that they had, which we read in First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 8. Let's skip down and read verse 37. Verse 37. And on the other side of Jordan, of the Reubenites and the Gadites, and the half tribe of Manasseh, with all manner of instruments of war for the battle, and 120,000. So that's how he tear at the arm with the crown of the head, because all the instruments of war, including that were actually in his hand, that these men were experts in war and different instruments of war, different tools, different methods of being able to take down their enemies and destroy their enemies. Let's go back to Deuteronomy chapter 33 and read verse 21. Deuteronomy 33 and 21. And he provided the first part for himself because there in a portion of the lawgiver was he seated and he came with the heads of the people. He executed the justice of the Lord and his judgments with Israel. So let's see how did he execute that justice of the Lord. Let's get Joshua 22, 1 through 6. Joshua, Joshua 22. Verse 1 through 6. Go ahead. Joshua chapter 22, verse 1. Then Joshua called the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half tribe of Manasseh. So, and the Gadites, and, read. And said unto them, Ye have kept all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you and so have that's obeyed. That's the key part as far as when he provided the first part and said, because there in a portion of the law here was he seated because he was executing righteousness. We know the law here was. When you have Moses, he was giving forth the instruction, the commandments in order to teach our people righteousness. And that's what it is that God was upholding. Read on. And have obeyed my voice in all that I commanded you. You have not left your brethren these many days unto this day, but have kept the charge of the commandment of the Lord, your God. So they kept the charge of the commandments of the Lord. Read on. And now the Lord your God hath given rest unto your brethren, as he promised them. Therefore right. now return ye, and get you unto your tents, and unto the land of your possession, 
which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you on the other side, Jordan. So, and he was that lawgiver. So that is the explanation of Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 20 through 21 concerning Gad. Now from there, would uh, brother like me to go ahead and move on to the Genesis understanding of Gad? Please. Let's go ahead and get it. Genesis chapter 49. And let's go ahead and read verse 19. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 19. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he right. shall overcome at the last. Right. We're going to get a couple of scriptures. Let's go ahead and get 2 Samuel 23 and 13. Let's get Revelation chapter 2, verse 26 to 27. Second Samuel chapter 22 and verse 13. Second Samuel chapter 23 and verse 13. Kind of so lucky. 23 and verse 13. And three of the 30 chief went down and came to David in the harvest time unto the cave of Adullam. And the troop of the Philistines pitched in the valley of Rephaim. So when you're dealing with troop, the troop is just understanding that you're dealing with someone. And if we may, Let's get a definition. That was an example of troop. I want to actually get a definition of troop, if someone will. Oh, I'll get it. <clears throat> Just the actual, the, the English definition? Yeah, it's fine. Got it. An assemblage of persons or things, a company, a band, a great number or multitude, in military, an armored cavalry or cavalry unit consisting of two or more platoons and headquarter troops or a body of soldiers, police, etc. Right. So you have many times where bodies of soldiers came against us as a people and against God. However, when the scriptures say that he shall overcome at the last, of course, we understand how are we going to overcome at the last because we're going to take back this kingdom they are going to fight and be able to come and overcome this particular nation that has oppressed us not only now but also in times past revelation 2 26 to 27. revelation chapter 2 and verse 26 and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end to him will i give power over the nations mm -hmm. verse 26 Read on. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Right. So no different with Gad and with the other tribes. Our argument is not disagreeing at the historical information brought out by Brother Katazai and Yawasap and the other information concerning the archaeological, geographical, historical information concerning that there were Israelites not only in these regions, and even some of which that may have very well, as I believe Yahweh brought out, may have identified as far as being even part of those tribes, being part of even Gab by name, as the brother brought out. But as far as in this day and age, currently, we cannot say that, hey, you know what, brother Yahweh and brother, you know, um, Kazaza or whoever else, maybe they are Gadites because they have this proof substantiating that they are from this particular tribe. And with that, I'll go ahead and uh, turn it back over to the panel. Oh, Jesus so, Christ. Um, I, got, I got one question. I got one question, Katata. I promise I'm gonna hit it to you. I just, just before before you do that, can, I, can everybody just stand up, you know what I'm saying? Shake your arms, shake your legs. Maybe y'all went to sleep like me, you know what I'm saying? But let, let you know what I'm saying? Everybody wake up now. Now, now, you know what I mean? Now we got things to talk about. Go ahead, y'all, what's up? So, 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 real, so fair, real quick. Now, now to be to be fair, that's an example of an ad hom cop desirous right. not having ad homs. All right. Yeah, we get kind of Just to be fair, I don't want them to say we respect their persons. You my right hand man. Everybody. Well, you probably ain't gonna say you my right hand man, but you get the point. So let's not have the ad homs. Let's just go ahead and get busy. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe the left these days. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, so you're top. I, I, at the latter end, you said, okay, Yahweh brought out 
how these tribes in this area, which has happened to be North American Indians, were saying that they're gad out of their own mouths. You were saying that source is invalid. No, I did not say that. So what did you say about that source? I agree that although you may have some individual at that time that may have claimed that they were of the tribe of Gad. No, not, not, indi- Shalakia, not individual, the tribes. Excuse me, that you may have had certain tribes that may have identified that they were of Gad. You cannot substantiate or prove that as individuals, these people can be proven to be Gadites in this day and age as individuals. How, how can you not do that when y'all do? Okay, I, I got to ask questions. So y'all believe the Negroes brought from Africa with Southern Kingdom, yay or nay? I'm sorry, I may restate the question. Y'all believe that the Negroes brought from the West Coast of Africa in slave ships were the Southern Kingdom, yay or nay? We believe that many of them were of the Southern Kingdom. We cannot prove that all of them were of the Southern Kingdom. And what about the tribes that were in North and Central and South America and Caribbean islands? Were they Northern Kingdom? Yay or nay? May you restate the question? The native Indians from North, Central, South America, Caribbean islands, are they Northern Kingdom? Yay or nay? Are the um, um, I don't know why this is so hard to understand. I got you. The 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 native Indians from North, Central, South America, and Caribbean islands are they the Northern Kingdom of Israel? Yay or nay? Got you. Okay. Um, the reason why I do not give just a simple yay or nay is based on history, some of which you brought out that they are not all definitely just Northern Kingdom due to the other times of history of intermingling as was brought out earlier. So no, 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 you're not, you're not understanding what I'm asking. I do understand what you're Listen, asking. Listen, no, no, you don't because you're talking about intermingling. I'm talking about the indigenous peoples of North, Central, South America, Caribbean islands. Are they Northern Kingdom? Yes or no, Ak? Y'all was obviously to make sure I answer this in context. Is this pre-transatlantic slave trade when we're dealing I with just indigenous? said indigenous. Indigenous. If the father from the west coast of Africa mixes with an indigenous woman, y'all, y'all brought it out from the beginning. You go by the, the 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 lineage of the father. I'm not agreeing. I'm not disagreeing with you. So I don't know why this is so hard to give a yes or no. I'm I'm giving a pretty like easy question to answer. I don't I don't know what's the problem. Again, when you say indigenous, are you dealing post or pre transatlantic slave trade? Because wow. You know when the, po- after uh, post or pre, but listen, may, post may or pre. The hold on, hold on, y'all was up, y'all was up. So we, so we can, so we can deal with this cleanly, right? Because Tab is asking you a question, so he can answer your question, right? So what he's asking you is, are you talking about these people who were considered indigenous before the ah, slaves were placed on these lands? To understand the indigenous people post or pre transatlantic slave trade, their lineage can't change because the lineage is of the father. So okay, are so, you telling so, me Tom, that a lineage can change? So. Hold on, hold on. No, that's not what he was saying. But what he was asking is because people would consider certain people so-called mm-hmm. indigenous because they'll say, oh, yeah, my such and such is Native American. When if you go right. far back enough, you'll find out, oh, no, they're uh, as descendants of the of the slaves. So what he's asking you, are you talking about those that were just here, didn't intermingle with? with the slaves and any of that? Or are you talking about after that happened? Because after that happened, the truth of the matter is, whether you're trying to, uh, I guess, deal with it or not, the fact of the matter is there was mingling. So we don't and, know- And, and I already brought the, that out. 
the natives or the indigenous. Out. And I brought that out. I, I agree yeah. with you. So, That's not an argument. Okay, so Todd, he's talking so about those. I, I got you, y'all. What's up? So he's asking about. We'll we'll make it simple. Pre uh transatlantic slave trade are they are they you said those are the caribbean island y'all what's up north central south american caribbean islands are they northern gotcha. kingdom or are they just israel overall northern king got you okay go okay then with that understanding from both darash and y'all what's up my answer would be they're primarily considered northern kingdom based on the history and archaeological information Okay, so the people from the west coast of Africa were northern and southern kingdom, but by and large southern kingdom. I'm sorry, I thought we did the south, central, north as far as dealing with the western. Hemisphere. No, he's he's asking a separate question. He's uh, this is he's asking you another question. Yeah, you, you okay. gotta listen. I, didn't... I, I don't think you're listening to the questions. I really don't think you are. So the people brought from the west coast of Africa were primarily southern kingdom, but there was northern kingdom there as well. Correct. I agree with that. Okay, cool. Katazai, you want to take over? Yeah, I, I just, I just want to respond in, in this notion, right? Absolutely nothing that y'all brought up disproved what we said applying Deuteronomy nor Genesis towards Gad at all in any in any way, shape, or form, right? And and I, I'm just, I'm just going to show you a primary example. Everybody in here is familiar with Psalms 83, but I'm, I'm going to read it anyway. Right. Just, just just for example, just to show you that even if I go by your logic and show the attributes being acted out by Gad, then that they would be acted out now as well. Psalms 83, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites and Moab and the Hagarenes. So now here we see that it's going to go on and list every nation. So I'm not done here. I just need a simple yes or no answer. Yatab, the Psalms 83 that I just read, does that happen today, present day? Correct. Did that happen during the time when it was written inside of Psalms? Yatab? My apologies. Go ahead. Psalms 83, right? We just read that. You just said, correct, it happens today. Did Psalms 83 also happen in the past when it was written? So it was still something that was happening over time. I, 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 that's, not, but that's not what I asked you. I asked you, first I asked you, does it happen today? You said, correct. Simple, quick. You understand? Boom. Correct. One, two, three. Is it something that also happened during the time period it was written in? Absolutely, yes. Okay, thank you. So what you're seeing here is that scriptures are manifold, especially when they're talking about attributes or in a prophetic nature. That what was written aforetime was written for our learning because there is no new thing under the sun. So if Gad dwelt like a lion 6,000 years ago, he dwelt like a lion today. If Gad... You understand, which is why everything that I brought out, all the attributes I was showing, like if you wanted to show biblical references to where Gad lived like that, yeah, of course, that's why it's describing him like that. But now we can turn around and take those same attributes and apply them to who they would be today, which is why I brought up the buffalo, which is why I brought up, you understand, his instruments of war, how they would go to war and how they would scout people. Because if it applied 6,000 years ago in Deuteronomy, give or take a couple of years, it would apply the same today. So in no wise way, shape or form, you understand, in that lecture that you gave a minute ago, did any of you disprove what we were saying concerning the North American Indian? And in fact, hypocrisy is still reigning true because when it comes down to everybody on this panel being an Israelite, it's the curses and because they apply to us, we believe it. But if we dig deeper and start to dissect each tribe, now all of a sudden we can't apply these spiritual attributes anymore. So I haven't seen y'all disprove what we said concerning Gad because out of the source that Yahweh pulled, they themselves said, we are Gad. 
Okay, so real, the, real quick, hold on, Todd. Real quick. So, uh, Oh, uh, so I, I wasn't I wasn't finished, but I mean, go, I know, go, but, but real quick, I just, no, I I, I know y'all. This is more hypocrisy, y'all. Once again, I let y'all go. Didn't unmute my mic. Didn't say a beat. I yeah, got you. you, you should, mic, not only that. did he let you go. Uh, hold on, um, Tazari. Yeah, no, this is this is what this is what I was. Now, doing, now right? he's muting me. Now, now, I, I now. I didn't. it's cool. No, it's it, it's cool. It's cool. I, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, wait, 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 no, 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 I, I wasn't done. I'm just pointing no, no, out no, your no, hypocrisy no, because you, Katazai, it, was, right, it was. You, you just said Katazai, you, you done, didn't Katazai, you? Just say that. You just mentioned my name. Katazai, I'm gonna ask you one last time to chill, Dom. You see, you see, you see what happens when they get body bagged. Okay, now, now I muted you. Now, real quick, Dom. This was my point. I was unmuting to say that I'm handing over the moderation to Tazayuan because. I don't want to be in a place where I'm playing the hybrid and brothers feel like I'm being biased. Hey, so to Zaya want, respect, hold on, hold on, respectfully, hold on. respectfully, hold on, Darash. Respectfully, nah. Clock it. Well, La -ha. La -ha. The yeah, I'm we, got, up, so, we got the moderation. So Dom, so Dom, so Dom, so Dom, Dom, so Dom, 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 this is, and, and said, this is why, yo, this is what I asked. Hold on, please. Uh, uh, May I, if I could, hold, if I could, bro. Hold. Yeah, you absolutely can. But As give a me third one party, bro, it's not looking uh, good. You can't do that. I, no, you look. You gotta fall back. Hold on, y'all. Oh, this is what was going on, right? Because nobody uh, knows except Corey. Please, I'm begging you. Y'all will all listen. Brothers, y'all not listening. You looking me real bad, Darash. Real bad, bro. Hold on, let, me, let, me, hold on, me and Corey let had a rush, conversation. Let, let land his plan. And God, me and Corey had a conversation. Corey is here and he can attest. I said I was somewhat of in a hybrid position because it was supposed to be me and Yatab leading the conversation. But then for the sake of the audience and for the sake of the panel, I said, okay, I'm going to try to stay out of it but i was supposed to be in a, originally supposed to be one of the speakers so i'm speaking with brothers my particular brothers in the back chat and i told them okay i'm going to hand over moderation to tazayuani yashimai and then dom and corey have it as well and i'm going this way i can actually have the conversation because i've kind of been sitting back but the original thing corey here is a witness is that it was me and Yatab going to have the conversation with the individuals? This way, we can have a cleaner bill. That's what I'm saying. No, no, yeah, sweat. but that it sounds like that. It sounds like what? It sounds like, like, it sound like, sound like, uh, sound like he's it, doing it should just what? Simply be myself, Corey, and Cap moderating. That's all well, it should be. Well, here's here's the thing. I this is why that would be. make that good. <laughs> no, but just, but the Raj, real talk. What would make that good? Is Tazaiwan has gotten into the debate, he has a green bean. Now you're getting into the debate, sidebar, you're doing what you said I was gonna do when I said I was gonna moderate. You notice I stayed up here moderating, you dropping down. Just a slight stab, being funny. But now you want to drop down. Well, no, no, no. Me, that Corey, was the original. Dom. Hold on, but to say what you're missing, is that was it. what no, was no, supposed I, to be I, from the okay, beginning. That's fine, Darash, Darash, but that's I not what that actually played original, out on the stage. But no, right. Once you chose, but once you chose to just moderate, that's your position. So you chose that. Nobody forced you to do it. That's the role you chose. And now you're switching. So what Dom is saying is correct. It's your room. You have every right to tell us no. But me, Dom, and Corey have been even throughout. When Desiree gave an ad hom, I said no ad homs. When Kadazai did it, I said no ad homs. So we're fair and we're not interfering. But the brothers on your side, y'all have crossed that line as moderators. And it's not fair to the brothers that don't have it because now they're forced to yield to you because you got the bean. So maybe it's better for y'all to just be unbeam so y'all can all talk. And then we'll keep the peace and harmony in the room. Along I, with uh, Yashima. Yeah. Yashima right, I'm harmony. not sure with these green beans and stuff y'all talking about. I never said I was a moderator. So no that's problem. What the that's green what bean. That's what a green bean. You got a green bean, yeah. so that's what makes you a moderator. That's yeah, when you're, oh. yeah. When you're a green bean, like in a discussion, usually you're just moderating, controlling, making sure both sides have a fair shape. That's why you hear us saying the green bean concept. The Rosh knows this. I believe because I want is a way. Cat, cat. They 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 getting the ass whooped. They got to call an audible. That's what that's what it is. Come on, come on. Yeah, chill, chill, chill. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Hey, the conversation's not over. Let's now look, see, now they go. Listen, listen, listen. Let's just keep going down on the taxi. That's why y'all brought the Avengers. What? But yo, but yo, all follow your side. No, listen, listen, listen. If I could, that's a warning to Captain Katz. Lock you. If I could, man. 
Y'all, y'all can just mute up. Just everybody mute up. Mute up right quick. Mute up. Mute up. Mute up. Mute yourself. Mute yourself. Yeah, mute the yourself. Uh, baby. I got it. I got it. Uh, so the 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 issue was um, a lot of the things that what Darash said was true that him and Yatab was gonna ho- hold the bill. Um, from the speaking side, I stated that at the very beginning that Bishop was just going to point make. I stated that at the very beginning. Um, Yashamai was going to uh, be more so on the reading. Um, and I stated that at the very beginning. And all these words that I'm saying was the rash words to me on the phone prior to getting on, uh, on the, within the conversation. Yawasop and Katazar was going to be a part of the bill. Me, Dom, and Tazariot was going to be moderating. Um, I think a lot of the truths that Cesario just spoke about. Well, originally was, it was just you, Corey. I just allowed Dom and, and Cesario to come up and moderate as well. Right, right. That's why I asked you, hey, or asked Dom, hey, is you moderating? Because you just said it was me, but you allowed it, so you added it at the very beginning before God. the bill started. So before anybody brought out a precept or explained anything, Cesario had to be myself uh, had to be and as well as Dominique. So just to continue with the conversation, you got to understand, Daraj, at the time period in which you, whoever you text behind the scenes saying, I'm going to drop down and have the bill, you did it in the midst of Kataza still speaking. So it wasn't the best time to do it. It should have been at a point where he yielded. And then you came and interjected and said, hey, I'm going to drop down, lose my bean. Bishop can have a bean. And then I'll actually have the bill. But it was an amazing. Well, kind of, but, but again, at the at the very beginning, it was already stated. So that's perfectly fine. If brother said, well, that's a, you know, that doesn't look good, whatever the case is. That's that's perfectly fine. But the again, right, what right. I originally stated was that I was going to be teaching alongside. Yeah, so now that we have that understood, we can continue Please on, let me right? Speak. Yeah. Please let me speak. Please let me, let me and Darash speak. Darash, you just missed my point. My point wasn't that you were going to be teaching. I stated that you were going to be teaching. You, Me and you talked on the phone prior to Clubhouse that you were going to be teaching. That's not my position right now. My position is that if you are going to be teaching, you shouldn't have spoke in the midst of Kataza speaking. If you were going to be moderating, you shouldn't have spoke in the midst of Kataza speaking to say that I'm dropping down to teach. There was no reason to do that. You should have allowed him to land Regardless if you're moderating, regardless if you're teaching, you should have allowed him to land, be free, and then once the space is pushed over back to your top on your side, then you can say, hey, I'm going to lose my bean, drop down, so I can just add to the bill. And then it could have been a different conversation. So my only contention at, or the contention that was created on the platform, if I hear an echo, if somebody can mute their mic, the contention that was created on the platform was between you and Kataza, and it was because Kataza did not land, and that's why he was saying you're doing this purposely to to cut me off because of where I am getting in the build, and that's what it looked like, and that's why we're all the way here, where a lot of mics is going off and brothers is frustrated or throwing out comments, digs, slights, so on and so forth, because of that time period in which you came in. So I felt like when Kataza was saying. <clears throat> let me speak, it should have been done to allow him to land and finish up, and then you kind of came in there. That's my only opinion. Other than that, uh, we spent about four minutes to seven minutes just all talking about stuff that has nothing to do with the actual topic. So, Daraj, if you want to drop down, I can drop you down right now. Don't, um, don't put me as a moderator, though, because that's not what I'm doing. My thing is, now that all of this is understood, we're going to keep moving forward. I hope we don't have to keep revisiting about people getting cut off. Is that Yashamaya? Yeah. Oh, that dude sounds just like that. Yeah, I, I, I hope not either. And just, and just so y'all know, right, I didn't care just like I didn't care in the beginning. It wasn't That's until cool. y'all decided to state the parameters and would not give us the same respect of the floor that I had to call y'all out on it. All praise, Zach. Let's move forward. You never gave us respect, but go ahead. Let's move forward. Man, maybe you never earned it, but go ahead. It was it's actually on you to cut his eye to finish. Oh, it's on me. Oh, well, no, well, you was in the middle of your Oh, well, Jesus no, Christ. No. After after all that. Hey, hey, hey man. Gad. You was actually talking about Gad, I believe. I think I think I think I, think I proved my point. Mm-hmm. Which is which is which is which is, which, is, which is why I was interrupted to to begin with, you know what I'm saying? So y'all what's up? Unless you want to build off that point. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 once again, 
I'll let y'all interrupt and take it from. Hey, Cap, I would say just go, break down another try, man. Yo, if I could, man, as third party, I've been in the audience for this whole thing. It, 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 even if brothers don't mean it that way, it's coming off like anytime y'all get ready, y'all strong on the conversation away from Captain. That's the way, that's what I'm getting. And people asking me, yo, you know, you got to mention that. Even if brothers don't mean it that way, that's how it's looking. And this is one of the better conversations we've had on this app. So I, I understand brothers is fiery competitors, but if y'all can have more decorum to let a brother make his point to the completion, you know, it'll be real. It'll go better. It'll go better. It's looking that way because Jason took over. That's why I look that way. It's a good build because of the way it's been going for y'all. I got you. Who we I don't, I don't have, have a y'all. Hey, hey, look, we I don't, don't have want a y'all. To we we haven't had. We haven't had that. Let me talk. We haven't had that respect from the jump. Y'all didn't respect us when we was talking. You took over, and Darius shouldn't allow y'all to take take over. I'm I don't. I don't have because I won. I don't have a y'all. I'm not. I'm not reasoning with you. I'm just I, saying. It, it, I'm just, I, I'm just calling even it like if you I don't, it, I, even if you don't mean it that way, that's the way it's looking. So I'm trying to let give you a heads up, yo, it's, it's coming off wrong. You know, just second. be a little bit more patient. One second, what, just just because I'm part of moderation, to Zion, what do you mean about taking over? Who took over? What do you mean? Well, I mean, with all due respect, I don't mean to say this, and uh, I mean I don't really care as much about how I look. You know, I'm just here to defend the gospel. Obviously, it's same thing. I think we all trying to do, hopefully. But at the same time, you know, I, I don't like to play games. It was a debate from the very beginning. You know, I'm not really up with the clubhouse terms. You know, a good bill, clean bill. I'm just learning. It was a. It was set up as a debate. It was set up differently than what it was set up last week. This was a room that we that we actually created. So now, you know, it's been hijacked, and that's just the truth. I ain't mad about it. It is what it is. But can you explain what you mean? Communication between yourself and Darash. You absolutely right, Dominique. I take that. I take that to the fullest. Okay, so let let me have a conversation because I asked the question. When you say Jake's don't took over, you have to understand that was the conversation that myself and Darash had prior to you guys actually launching the room because he asked me to play a role in moderation. And what did I say to you, Darash? If you can unmute. I said, Daraj, what would you like this to be? Is this going to be like a versus platform? Is this going to be like a guy first gang platform? Or is this going to be like a specific somebody's club platform, like a True Nation or Sons of Thunder or uh, uh, like um, uh, 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 Ron Godal Gabarium's platform or Sakari? Because it can either be a build with clean moderation or it can be closer to an echo chamber. So what did it, didn't I say that to you? No, and I said it's going to be more like a, 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 a hybrid of the God first gang and the versus platform. I said, oh, it was, okay. And, and, that I, and I, to well, real quick, so real I quick. And I said, and I said that specifically for the member, I even expressed the moderation thing. I said, cause I'm kind of going to be in a hybrid space, which is also why I said, I wanted you to be on the other side of moderation, but I knew you were doing something else with LEL and them. So that's why I didn't really sweat it. Um, and that's that's why when Dominic came up, I said, cool. I said, okay, cool, because I know they're on the other side. That way it can be moderation down the middle. You got one or two on this side, one or two on that side. That's how that ended up happening. But, yeah, it was supposed to be originally just you. Got you. So, so you gave me clarity. I yeah. asked for clarity, and you gave me clarity at the very beginning before this room was launched. Right? Yeah. And then I also said everybody else is used to Clubhouse. But some of the newer True Nation members may not be used to it. So if you can communicate with them before the room is lunch, that we would be calling things down the middle and we wouldn't allow either side to do anything outside of just calling things down the middle. Didn't I say that? I, I still don't see why we're talking about how the room got set up when we're already here. Well, like that, we're talking forward. about it because the bishop That's the whole thing. Well, the bishop just unmuted and said, because Jakes don't took over as if since the beginning, the 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 system was created for us to take it over. That was well, the point. It was, this, this is the point I'm making. Let me, let me speak. <clears throat> and and, and, I, and I, I can take it up with Darash, my brother. We'll talk about it. Uh, okay. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely, um, 
it, it wasn't a wise decision on how things were set up. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like a slight towards us because we did exactly what we was asked to do. I didn't oh, ask I know, to, I know, I know uh, y'all going to do. I know what y'all going to do. I was, asked, I was asked to come into the room to play this role, and Captain played the role, and Dominique played the role. We was asked to come in, and we asked, how do you like for it to run? Is it going to be run similar to ours? I, I get all of that. I get all of that. I get all of that. I want to make sure it wasn't on us, because it was said in front of 100 to 200 to 300 people that statement was said towards us. Uh, listen, no, we're, not, we're not worried about that. Listen, what I'm saying is I'm just stating facts. I'm not. I, that's that's me and my camp. That's me and my brother. We can talk about that. But I'm going to still call a spade a spade. I'm not going to be, uh, I'm going to always be balanced. I'm going to do my best to be balanced. I'm not going to be overly politically correct either. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to call a spade a spade. When niggas being niggas, I'm going to call it out. Niggas being niggas. So, we can go on. All right, Bishop. We can go on. All right. Because it, it kind of just sounded like, it sounded like what you got to take up to with him is you didn't realize that this was smoke being brought to the room. Not just, you know, hey, what do you guys think about this? And you know, This was smoke being brought to the room. That's what this is about right now. So, if you want to call smoke that, being, niggas when being, if you want to call that niggas being niggas, then fine. But yeah. that's what this is. This is smoke being brought to the room. When that's smoke is being is. brought to the room, you just got to make sure you got the proper ventilation and you got to know where the exits are. That's all Let's I'm see. saying. Okay. You get it? Let's keep going. Go ahead, Cap. The water. All right. So it's on you. Uh, I believe it's on you. Cops is all right. Oh, man. I, I, after Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, man! I got a few questions for you. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, man! Y'all, y'all, y'all got it, man. At this point, I think we proved our point. Definitely didn't, but I got some questions for you. Yeah, give me like about, give me like five minutes. They actually, oh, that's Yawasap. That's how does that actually had yielded to Yawasap? Yawasap, you said you needed five minutes. Yeah, like not like more like two minutes, and then uh, you can ask this question first. I, I just like it because I got some questions too. Y'all been asking. Right? Okay, but if Daraj get into asking his questions, how many questions you got, Daraj? That's yeah, that's y'all yeah. live speaker. <laughs> and I got oh, about three, shit, three. It's all good for real. It's all good. Yeah. I, I got like I got like three simple questions. Yeah, I, I there's a number of questions on, on we, this side. But go- no, the reason why I was asking that because y'all was up. This is his time, but he needs time. So I was gonna let Yashima ask his three questions. Once he completes his three questions, then we come back to y'all. Stop. Then to you, Duraj. Okay. That's what I was asking. Okay. First, right, no first, first, first answer, yes, that's the world's smallest violin in my hand. Now, I mean, now, now, Desire is what I was talking about. I don't know what the violin means. He's talking, but he's basically saying it's a pity party. He's, t- he's talking shit. That's what's going on. <laughs> Let it be. I, I, I ain't no, no one's, yeah, talking. no one's crying Let about that. Go. Let the shit talk. And go. Well, well, here's the thing. I had already stated earlier. I, I want to have an honest build and to be just like brothers again. Uh, it's it's unrealistic. Talking about y'all about to get smoked. And, like you right. knew from the right. jump it wasn't let's, gonna let's be build. that. No, this is perfect. <laughs> let's start building from here. Y'all not acting like it though. That's cool. Let's start building from here. It's perfect. Yo. Go ahead, yeah. Uh, so my Katz, I got a couple questions for you, and they they real simple questions. Um, first question, in terms of uh, Judah, because earlier you said Judah isn't only in North America, correct? That's correct. So, how would you I identify a Judah living in another landmass? If they if they wouldn't be calling themselves black or African American, the same way you identified yourself as an Israelite by applying the curses and prophetic nature of how did he get to that landmass? So, for example, is he in Europe? While he was in Europe, was it due to the transatlantic slave trade? So on and so forth from there. So the same logic that your bishop earlier applied to himself. <laughs> You understand? You would apply that to that brother inside of another nation. So would there be Judites living in Mexico? As myself, 
Yahweh Saab had stated earlier, there are Judites that are living in Mexico. There are Judites that are living in Vietnam. There are Judites that are living in Italy okay. right now. So my question again is, if a brother says he is Mexican, how would you know if he's a Judite or not? Okay, from the same way, from from this, from from the same. I'm just, I'm gonna just set it up for you. From the same way that Yahweh Sap answered it before by discussing with him about who his father is. I believe he brought up a, uh, an instance where he spoke to somebody from Puerto Rico who says, "I am not Taino. My father came off a slave ship." But please, Yahweh Sap, take it because apparently they're not listening to anything you're saying. You might have to repeat yourself two, three more times. God's design. No, no, no. What it brings up is you, that's convenient for somebody who has maybe one at the most two generations of them being to that new land. But what if they've been there for the longest of times and they forefathers, forefathers, forefathers identified as Mexican? Now you're changing the question, though. Now you're adding on to it. You know what I'm saying? So do you want the surface value or do you want to add value? Uh, do you want to add variables into the equation? Because with the variables that get added into the equation, so does the answer. So, you know what I'm saying, from the surface value, we're talking about a broad overview or a broad brush. Then you have to discuss it with the brother. And then from there, you start to learn about him and the individual and their history. So you just keep adding on to it. So if you want to know the process, that's a part of the process. It's called vetting. You okay, understand? No when you meet somebody, you vet them. But hold on. Yawasap wanted to answer. I'm sorry. For no problem. No, you so, did. I so this, this would be it, right? If a brother comes from the lineage of the Aztecs, or the Toltecs, and y'all brothers need to remember those names. I'm going to repeat it. The Aztecs and the Toltecs, remember those names. They'll be from the tribe of Ishakar, right? Now, if a brother came there via slave ships, they'll be from the tribe of Judah. I, I don't, it's very simple to understand. If the brother, if the brother, for instance, doesn't know who his lineage is, right? That happens. By and large, by and large, the people in Mexico are indigenous. For instance, there's also conquistadors that have a lineage in Mexico. You brothers know this, and we will have the same, and we would agree with this, right? That person is not an Israelite. He's an Edomite. Well, right? you, you can't even say that, because I don't know how much history how, brothers have on- How uh, can I, what are you talking he's, about? He's answering, he's, like, he's explaining. I, was I don't know how much history you brothers have on our people's history in Spain. When Christopher Columbus was coming over here, and as long as, as well as with those conquistadors, there were a lot of Israelites coming from Spain too. That I, I, know, I know there were, and I agree with that. But the point okay, is, so they wouldn't they, look because they're they, from Spain. They would not say look. That they're not an Israelite. But That's why I bring brother, that you're up. Playing, you're playing semantics. That's not semantics. Listen, you simply is, said listen a brother from. Listen closely. Listen closely, brother. Brother, you, you really got to listen. Hold on one second. I, you simply said that if there were Spaniards living in Mexico, by default, they're Edomites. And but but, but Edomites. This, is, this is why you're not understanding. Let me explain. This is very simple to understand. If a Judite or a Southern Kingdomer is in Spain, he's not a Spaniard. He's an Israelite. How hard is that? But, he's, but he, the, like the question that. is this. The question is this. How do it's, you determine it's a dumb that? Question. Because, I, hold on, hold on y'all. What's up? That's not fair because this is, I'm going to be honest. Even when we're on the other platforms, brothers that do that to deflect. Here's the thing. What's being I'm not asked, deflecting anything. I oh, no, no, no. I didn't say, I didn't say that's why you did it. I, 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 I didn't, didn't even need you to clean up my, my questions. I'm saying, right. uh, real quick, Yash. What I'm saying is brothers will do that. What well, Yash might ask you a very simple question. He said, or excuse me, he was making a very simple uh, uh, rebut to what you had stated. There's a number of our people in Spain, and let's be fair, because brothers say it all the time, just because you're a certain color doesn't mean you're from, you know, you may not even be Israel. So Facts. the whole point that he's making, so the whole point that he's making is, yeah, you had people that came over here as Spaniards, right? Both the conquista and those that were with them, whether they were slaves or just simply navigators, whatever you want to call them, right? They came over here as well. They intermingled as well. So if you're saying, well, if they were a part of the Spaniards, then they're Edomites. Well, Yasha says you can't say that because some of them were actually Israelites, but they were Spaniards. So the whole the, now circling back to the point, Yash is asking, how do you indicate who is, uh, let's say, and we're going to make it simple. Brother, I I I, but, I, but I answered it. Yeah, the you said, you just said because, people who come off a of slave ship. Hold on, hold on, other hold, tribes hold, on, on hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish, bro. True. I answered it. 
just because you're not agreeing with the answer, that's not that the same way. I don't agree with 99% of the things he got saying, but you want to know why I don't keep reiterating the question? Because you're gonna keep giving the same answer. No, he asked you a question about your answer, though. That the ask ask what you just and said. I, and I just and, and I answered it. So and Katha also answered it. This is when you ask brothers questions. And this is why hypocrisy by, comes in for me because brothers will openly say that there were multiple tribes on the slave ships, but now all of a sudden, as long as you and nigga living in Mexico and you say you come off the slave ship, you're automatically Judah. That's where the logic is flawed. Man, and that's what it's, he was it's, saying. It's, it's, as much as you want to say that's stupid, that, that has to be the, the dumbest conclusion I've ever heard. Man, when you will agree that there were other tribes on the on the slave ship. Secondly, uh -huh. why was it totally? I didn't book agree with that. What are you about? talking about? Like no, you're Katz putting words did. in my mouth, bro. Y'all well, didn't well, agree no, that there was multiple it. tribes that came over on bro. slave ships? Bro, no, see there, like Katz y'all ain't y'all ain't y'all ain't listening to anything we say. Y'all gotta really listen, man. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, no, 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 no. Y'all saying y'all gotta wait a second. Yo, y'all gotta wait a second, man. Y'all gotta wait a second. Just give me a couple of minutes. Hold on, give me two minutes. Come on, man. I just told y'all how to do it. Look, man. Joel, 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 we got it. Yeah, I was up. I let, want you to let, talk, let, let but I, that that right. is a, a question that I want. That that's a great hold question on. to ask. Hold, right, but, hold but, on, hold on. You don't have to keep reiterating it. If he asked the question and he misrepresented Yawasop or Yawasop <laughs> felt misrepresented, just give him the space to clear it up so the conversation can continue. Right. So we just want to re-ask the question because we maybe we misrepresented. So there was only one tribe on the slave ships, is what you're saying, Yawasop. Ah, uh, no. You're not listening to nothing I'm saying or nothing Kathazar is saying. And let me explain why. You came into the conversation not to hear our side. You came into the conversation acting like if you're going to rebut and refute and prove us wrong. Right? A, a yes that's or no what, would do it. But y'all yes no do You see what I mean? That's not you see what I mean? Hold on. You see what I mean? Guys, guys, You see what I mean, bro? Y'all got to give him the space to be able to respond to a I asked the brother a yes or no question. Guy. His two minutes isn't needed. It was Respectfully. Let him, let him smoke. I asked the brother a yes or no question. I, he don't need two minutes to answer yes or no. Hold on. So wait, wait, wait. Bishop, let me do we apologize, y'all. It took a half hour, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all should my you feel like you asked him a yes or no question, right? I did. And you want you want a yes or no answer, right? That's what the scriptures say. So usually how we would do it, which is what was agreed at the very beginning, is when you ask him a yes or no question, he has the space to expound on his yes or no. But he didn't. But that's the thing. He So we, we re-asked the question because he said we misrepresented him. Now, if he's saying something different, I, the question was this. Was there only one tribe on those slave ships, or was it Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, with maybe even a remnant of the ten tribes? That's what we're asking him. Now, he can yes or no, there was only Southern Kingdom, or there was a number of tribes, and then he can go ahead and expound. That's all we're asking. Was all it only right. the Southern Kingdom? All or, right. All I'm right. sorry, Judah, or not. You got the space, you got the space Southern Kingdom. So, so was it only Judah was the question. Is it only Judah? I or just was said it Southern time? Kingdom. That's okay. Not, that's not Which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And I'm sure there was a remnant because we even see that, you know, some of the 10 tribes were left in the land. But so it's Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? Y'all, what's up? I just answered it two times. Yes. I okay. So it's Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Go ahead, Yashimai. To, to the point that you were. My other point was being, I mean, because that, that in itself, like I, I already spoke on that piece. My uh, other question was from the spiritual and physical um, attributes you gave to the tribes earlier, well, the ones that's given to Deuteronomy and Genesis. Is that enough to determine what tribe you're from or do you need more? Say it again. I yeah, you don't need anything. You don't you don't need anything outside the Bible to determine who they are. You know what I'm saying? From, from Anything the, from any the spiritual? I said from the spiritual and physical attributes that you were talking about earlier that was given to the tribes. Is that all you ever needed to determine your tribe? That's all that we've ever had from the beginning. The archaeology was things that got, you understand, added on later. You okay, understand? So but but as far as 
You don't Sorry. want me to finish the answer? No, right, you right. answered it. You said yes. I, 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 was going, I was going to expound on yeah, the answer yeah, just to give a little bit of clarity. Say. That's what I was going to say, Yashamai. As Corey laid out, he can say yes and then expound. But as he's expounding, you interrupted him. You got to let him finish. Go ahead, y'all. What's up? It's actually Kata, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, y'all. Go ahead, Kata, I'm sorry. Yeah, they no, it's no sweat. It's no sweat. It's because we yellow, y'all. What's up? That's that's what it is, man. <laughs> yeah, for my y'all, nah, love, right? Let, let me stop. I'm joking, man. Come on, man. I'll try to lighten the mood. No, nah, I'm just bit, saying. You know I'm, saying? I'm yeah. just saying. He the same color as y'all. Is he? Let me see this nigga. Dad. All right, but um, I'll say he's ten. You like it? He's ten. <laughs> Man, what's the damn question again, bro? I don't even know where we at, bro. The question what, what, was, uh, is all you need to determine your tribe, the physical and spiritual attributes that you mentioned earlier in Genesis and Deuteronomy? Yeah, if you're spiritual, you don't need nothing else. All you need is all you need is uh, Genesis, the 49th chapter, and the 33rd. And that's why I was saying that all the archaeology came later. That's just extra that reinforces, you understand, what we had said from the beginning. Okay, so my question is, why, why, why weren't the Levites granted access to the priesthood when they couldn't? Uh, could have just said, "Hey, we got the spiritual attributes of the tribe of Levi or the high priest." Now that's a now that's a separate topic, right? Like when when you're talking My about was, you're talking. Hold on, hold on, slow, slow, slow down, slow down, real quick. We're talking about present day, post captivity inside of America, returning back to our culture. Because as of right now, we're not just dealing with the Levitical priesthood. We're under the order of Melchizedek. You know I, that what I'm has saying? nothing to do so with the question I asked. That, right? that, has, that has absolutely everything to do with the context of what you're asking. Because you're that's asking, so. it is. And that's it why, once again, uh, once again, you want to mute your mic for a minute so I can explain how right? Maybe you'll learn something. Well, I, don't, I don't want my question to be misrepresented. because. Uh, oh, okay, no, 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 no. It, it, abso it absolutely not. has no, everything to do with it. You see, what, you see what I'm saying? I got about 10 minutes of this left in me, y'all. I'm just, I'm just letting y'all know. You know what I'm That's saying? That's fine. We don't need the moderators getting upset. I don't want my question misrepresented. Yo, no, okay, bro, relax. First of all, the brothers, the brothers are starting to open up. That's my. He's calm. He's calm. He's calm. <laughs> smoke, bro. Why y'all? Why y'all? It, 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 how can he be smoke if you don't let him say nothing? Because again, yeah, my question is being misunderstood. Yeah. My question is being misunderstood. Yeah. So Come why would on, I you, five nah, you 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 gonna ask the question fifty times and direct the answer? Don't do that. Why are you getting bro? flustered? Hey, 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 let's let's be fair, brother. Yo, it's right. not a y'all. Oh, it's it's not a y'all. I'm then, third then, party. Now y'all get moist. Now you get moist. Now y'all get moist. Now see now hold on. No, yo 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on. If I bitch if if I bitch about the moist comment, I would be acting like them. See how I don't bitch. I'm telling you from the outside, niggas are complaining about I'm your decorum about in your own room. About, bro. Then nobody's going to learn from what you're talking about. It's not an echo chamber. That's what we're trying to show you. Just uh, let them respond. All right, calm down. <laughs> yo, but you're annoying, bro. Like, yo, yo, I don't even like talking to brothers like that. Hey, right, right, you just let them respond. This is, this is, this is, you, can leave you. you can be quiet and yeah. let them respond. <laughs> these, these, these rooms or these types of topics. It's gonna be best served on the verse. Come on, man! You brothers uh, ain't agree. Cat. You got order. Come on. Man. Yeah, I, I, I agree yeah, as bro. well because oh, because the the. the the decorum on this on this has been absolutely trash. Y'all y'all been trying to hold people. Y'all y'all been trying to hold people to. You have been holding people to criteria that you yourself will not hold yourself to. Right. Which is why I've been calling y'all a hypocrite since I came on your platform. No, no, I wasn't. Listen, I had absolutely, I had absolutely, I had absolutely no complaints until y'all started crying. You understand? But outside, but out, but outside of that. But outside so of that, right? With the question Yo, Darash, for real, yeah. son? Yo, for real? Yeah, come yeah, on, son. Y'all said last week. Man, yeah, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm, try, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to help y'all understand, right? At the end of the day, bro, I, I could do this back and forth shit all day. It's not an issue, right? But what I'm saying is, if you're going to ask for something because you're saying, oh, you guys aren't respecting us because you're not giving the same respect you're requiring. So, with that being said, your question had to do with a false 
premise. You're asking us as to how we determine who we are today and then trying to relate it as to what happened in Ezra when they were trying to rebuild and determine back to the priesthood. Number and one, see, we're not I'm number one, off, number so number one, I'm going Jesus Christ. I'm listening I'm listening to everything that you said and say, maybe though. Maybe, could, how we figure out what's maybe, from today. maybe, 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 right? Then you should clarify that because you were asking a broad question and you wanted a specific answer. You understand? Like, so what you should then do is learn but how to ask a question properly question. Out, outside of that. Here's what, else, here's, what else, here's what else you don't know. In your comparison to what you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? You're also showing that that had to do with the direct priesthood because they didn't deny the people if they were their tribe. They just wouldn't allow them to get back in the priesthood if they couldn't prove that they were from that specific lineage. They weren't denying which tribe they were. They were denying if they were of the exact pedigree to be a part of the priesthood. That's the difference, which is why I'm saying what you're asking. Maybe you don't understand. Maybe you don't understand that scripture. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. You yeah, don't even understand the context of what was happening in Ezra, the second chapter, for you to even ask that question in the first place. <laughs> that's ridiculous, because knowing who your father is is knowing what tribe you're from. So thank okay. you for not They knew anything. that they were the tribe. Thank Listen, they, they were. The they were. I absolutely answered the question. The problem you is you not. don't even. You don't even have the caliber to understand the breakdown to ask you the question. You that's not. the problem. It's hard to understand the false doctrine. Yeah, you didn't answer the question. It's it's so, it's, so it's, like, last, it's like, it's like so what is it called? It's called it's called cognitive real quick. dissonance. Salak, Salak, when when, real when quick. somebody when somebody yeah. believes something and then they hear something new and it rattles them it, it and that's why you can't it. comprehend yeah. what I'm saying. Oh, I know y'all want to be the mighty the old guy. Yeah. Salak, yeah. 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 Yo, that shit is gay, bro. I'm sad right now. This ain't nothing. Joel, hold on real quick. No, ain't no hold on, bro. Yo, that was a good question he asked, and I actually wanted to see if. Cop as I could answer that as a listener. You don't care that nobody's listening to this. This is like it's just for you. We there's no side. I'm not, I'm third party. That was a good question he asked. I wanted to see if I felt Katazar's answer was good enough, but you won't even let him answer. That's Listen, all I'm saying. Jo Joel, Can y'all chill out and let, let it go? Up, let it be a respect. back and forth. We don't know you. Derogatory. Who's not letting him answer? Don't I, I don't care who you know. We that doesn't know matter. And, and, and I'm honest, telling you, I'm telling you, you're not allowing the conversation to happen because you're too confrontational too soon. Just relax. Listen, it's, it's funny how back. all this got flared up because I said my question was being misunderstood. That's how the whole thing started. Bro, now, if, if he misunderstands your question, let him try to answer it the way he understood. And then everybody in the audience is going to go, how does I misunderstood that question? Why and you win. Five minutes hey, time, to be honest, because people are question. listening, muscle head. People the, are listening. The problem is, listen, listen, too. I don't yeah, like the it, everybody doesn't think Nobody's the way whoever hey, yo, it is. Hey, yo, Darash, for real, bro? Hey, yeah, for real, for real. Darash, for real. About themselves on the for stage real. Right now. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me talk. Y'all trying to let, let, let the smoke go. When, when, Y'all wasn't giving that same energy when them Jakes was doing the same How thing. How can I know if it's up. smoke if I can't hear his rebuttal? Listen, I don't know listen, if it's listen. smoke. You, it's not, just you asking, asking the same question Jake's 10 times. You, trying to take like, over. you don't Fall understand back. that? Everybody you're you're, you're a you senior man. Back. You don't understand that? Like, that's that's annoying, Fall bro. Back. Well, just, just leave the room then. I can Fall back. Hey, hey, Darash, you know what? That's no problem. And and for and real, no, Darash, for real, fall back. Shalawan family. Hey, I just now, I just want to say I got I got to say one thing real quick, real quick. It's a lot. You, you, you want to drop the mic? I've been quiet. I've been quiet, man. And, you know, I, I was enjoying it because, you know, I, I, I like the sparring. I like the sword fighting, especially as brothers. But to be honest, man. Like the decorum here is horrible, bro. Like, like and, the fifth and, person I said that. Uh. And, 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 no, but you see what I'm saying? You like yeah, I'm coming as brothers, a brother. I, I, and one brother, a, brother we coming as a brother. Come on, it was horrible from the jump. Yeah, and, and, and and yeah but this is that's, the that's what I'm brother, saying. Like brothers keep saying they want to hear the brother answer the question, and then everyone has their opinion about how the decorum of the room is going. We reciprocating the same thing y'all gave us. Y'all up here now all of a sudden. 
you, you, try, was, you you're trying to appeal on, to somebody's man. moral compass at this point. You know what? Y'all nah, you know what? Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna just we don't let y'all over talk us every time. Just, we, we let y'all talk. I'm gonna just let us talk. In the bill. We let y'all you talk. You don't care. This is in the bill. It is. It's been over. They want to continue to teach their position. Yeah, if I may ask a question, just, yeah, I just want to ask echo one question. I don't even really want you to ask questions at this point. Yeah, I want to ask you a talk, question. You won't let us talk. Ask you. We let my question never got answered. One second. Was one second. Was was you will not let us talk. Everybody wants to talk. Y'all hypocrites. I understand this. I was everybody quit being hypocrites. I think that there's there's a lot of if I'm not mistaken, right? There's about 227 people in here. And this is getting redundant at this point. This I would just like this. my question answered. Yeah, right. even, even, as even as I'm trying to bring peace here, you still worried about your question. When I'm yeah, just trying to calm we're... everybody. You ain't heard just me talking about one time out. except that you, just you see second. that right there, Yashima? It's over with. Yashima, like all I'm doing is trying to bring a better decorum. And as I'm bringing decorum, you still want to talk. So the 227 people that's listening don't have to hear these men that say they have Lord keep this bickering back and forth and you stay worried about your question that's very selfish it's yeah, not very selfish I, 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 I think it's over with you trying to stop. bring peace but you, you so, still shooting it's, it's crazy how it takes this, 10 people this over, to this, back watch this, this, watch how we do this y'all this is over with we'll leave we'll leave start a room and you guys can talk to yourselves hey cool cause y'all the popular kids go ahead <laughs> Can I? Add, I Lyrics. just want to ask. I still want to ask one question, bro. That's all. My I question is not answer y'all. What's up? I'm not interested in I, your I, question. I, I, no, but you don't even know what my question. It's not even pertaining to a debate or anything. It is pertaining to a debate, but who? Oh, who like would I have, said, bro. My nah, question is Yo, answer. come on, bro. Yo, come on, bro. Like, the you want to answer my question bro. first? If you answer my question, we can answer one of yours. Yo, it's no but, problem. Uh, come on. Y'all niggas just crazy, bro. Man. Like, chill. It's just, it's just been reciprocated, I. And yo, but I haven't been. Yo, I haven't been like that. I, I right, haven't been right. Like that. Uh, uh, niggas I'll be. It hasn't been. The fact that y'all can't be honest with y'all was being niggas from the jump is sad. That wasn't me. I, Bishop, I haven't Bishop. been like that, Ken. Bishop, real well, quick, real quick. Let them take smoke. Let real, them know. Tell them, not us. Go tell them. Go talk real, to them. Real, them. real, real quick, real quick, right? Y'all was shop is is usually fairly. He's always respectful. The the. All the subtle shots and shit was covered from specifically Kazuzan and Tazariak. Even Tazariak was at moderate. Because they had a plan from the jump. I... <laughs> that, that's the, the, now, now, all that to say, um, Kazuzan did not answer the question. And Kazuzan, to be completely honest, was just blowing smoke. He never really... One, we never really got to deal with scriptures because our whole premise was this, and we said it a number of times. We said, and then, y'all, what's up? I do want to hear your question. But uh, we said this a number of times, right? When we talk about proving that we are Israel, right? We said, according to, and, and we say this out on the street when we're talking to people, according to um, archaeology, um, biblical, uh, what is it called? Archaeology, biblical prophecy, and history. It, if you are so called Black, so called Native American, so called Latino, there's a strong chance that you are a descendant of the Israelites. The ones that are here in the Americas, these are the descendants of the Israelites, right? So we're sitting here talking to brothers who are saying, well, spiritually, you can see this. Spiritually, you can see that. Look, they crouch like a lion. Then they start talking about how they, they hunt and they scalp and they do all this. All the Native American tribes do that. That, that didn't make any sense. There's a number of Native American tribes that scalp one another. You got Edomites that were scalping people. <laughs> so I, I, it, it really it really didn't make a lot of sense. When we talk about Judah, you can literally read the scriptures and talk about Judah. And Judah was clearly talking about King David and Christ. So that, that was the whole thing, because the, the whole what people, I guess, their understanding of the chart is has to do with Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy 33. Brothers are sitting there saying, oh, that was a horrible breakdown. But, bro, you're literally placing conjecture. Look who crouches like a lion. Bro, all the Native American tribes crouch like a lion. The Look. Aztecs crouch like a lion. The Mayans did the same thing. So to sit here and say that we're just going to place it on the Native Americans, that's crazy. Who was overcome by a troop? 
Hell, everybody, if you want to be technical, so-called Southern Kingdom, African-Americans were, were, were uh, taken over by a troop. Uh, Gather the scriptures, taken over by a troop. The Mayans, taken over by a troop. The Aztecs and Incas, taken over by a troop. So to say, it, it just, it was, it was a stretch. What brothers were saying was a complete stretch. So uh, I, I, I more, wish, more, more than it being but, a stretch, I think people, because there's still a lot of people listening right now. Right. Then they, they, then they even pull the mess that they pull, the cool kid stuff. People, it's some people that's gonna go along with the nonsense, and it's some people gonna stay with what's true. People respect when you stand up for yourself. Yeah, how was I wasn't sitting up on Clubhouse, sitting up here letting some Jakes pull that that type of small time stuff that they was trying to pull. It was disrespectful. It was very disrespectful. So God. it ain't no, it's nothing unrighteous. It's nothing unrighteous about standing up when somebody's in a situation where they're trying to pull the the, uh, the wool over people's eyes. And if I could add to that, we're not doing this for no show. Not like that, but we can care less who's in the audience. We're trying to reach those who are going to sincerely repent. Thank you. Brothers, Cause, cause, care, if, brothers worried about their egos, and we're going to go start a room over here. That's fine. Yeah, hey, Salaki, we're, here to, we're here to, we're here to, Salaki, we're here to discuss doctrine. Yeah. Because the thing y'all was up. Uh, hold, hold on real quick, hey, and, and then you can ask your question. Let them finish. You hey, know, hey, so. hey, I just want to say, listen, ain't no, like, we came in to have the discussion. It turned a little heated. Y'all already know the Rosh, my man. I, I fucks with y'all. Y'all cool. Y'all sure. doing y'all doing the work. It yeah. got heated. It got heated. Shit happens. Yeah, Ain't no but no disrespect, y'all was up. No disrespect, y'all was up. Ain't no more feelings. Your leader took it upon himself to start that to be our leader. leader. No, that's not his leader. Nah, 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 nah. Excuse me, y'all. Yeah, my apologies, my, that. my apologies for that. My apologies for that. My apologies for that. You good. I just want but, to say something real quick. Like, you know, I, I, just, I just, like, I, once again, you know, I fucks with y'all. Y'all cool. The smoke happened. Th things get hot. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Come, things come. get hot. Shit happens. But one thing I will say, to be honest, I would love to have a formal debate with one of y'all. Like, where information can actually come across, it could be timed, and then we could be in a hot seat for 20 minutes apiece, and, and, and we could have non-biased moderators. I would love that, I'm, I'm, to be I'm honest. Gonna you, here's the only problem with that, and this is why I warned brothers a long time ago about that debate stuff. The, uh, the, the person with the truth doesn't win the debate. That's not a guarantee. And people think that that's the case. A debate is a debate by nature. A debate is not always the person that has the true doctrine, that has the facts that, you know, they're going to win. A debate is a debate. Okay. It's I, a show. I, all right. I got you. I, no sweat. So shalom to everybody. All right. Shalom. All right. And so, and, and so what I want to say is I was trying to speak, you know, for a long time. Um, knowledge puffeth up the scriptures say but charity edified and 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 that's the, and that's the main thing that we want to build on you know yeah. so I, I you know the charity you know you know as brothers in this fight together in this war with the enemy you know we we just got to show more charity to one another Char charity is letting the brother speak the scriptures say uh let the spirit of the prophets be subject to the prophets so when one brother speaks another brother speaks don't interrupt each other in, in, in their speech. So, you know, um, I just wanted, because I do represent Rum Good Dog Abarium. You know, Yabasap is in our school and things of that nature. So, you know, I was yeah. up here and the decorum was kind of off, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm no hard feelings. So I just wanted to speak on our behalf. Yeah, I, I want to say something. I'm, I'm, I'm the leader of True Nation. All oh, praise be to the most high. I ain't nothing without him. This, this one thing you got to understand, I, <clears throat> um, we don't have any hard feelings. We don't have any hard feelings. Uh, like I said, the energy that we was given, we were just reciprocating what was given to us. If it had been a fair shake from the jump, if the moderation had been even across the board from the jump, then you wouldn't have you wouldn't have had us dealing the way we was recently dealing. That it wouldn't have been. The fact of the matter is, when people pretend like it's not a debate already, you you, you, you being a hypocrite, you know it's a debate. So I, 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 all that clean bill and all of that stuff, the way it was set up from the jump was set up as a debate. So let's call it spade to spade. Uh, you feel what I'm saying? The Jake literally so, opened up and said, my young nigga about to smoke you or kill you or some exactly. shit like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, uh, Tazari, I said, 
Yeah, because he got his ass smoked last week. That was the problem. And then he came and got the little homies and stuff and sat back and waited till everybody got all punched out or thought he was and then tried to jump in. Well, I don't I don't I want I don't want to speak, you know, you know, on a brother like that. You know I mean, saying? I don't have but, a problem speaking on, on the brother like that. I'm just calling the spade a spade. Right, out. yeah, but I'm not going to speak on you like you that. You ain't speaking. I'm, I'm, share, just, I'm but, the one you know, speaking. <laughs> right. But the, I just wanted to make that clear and then, um, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, uh, make sure everything was, was straight. You know what I'm saying? Between yeah, well, the Derasha, me and Derasha, we've had bills together, talk together. It ain't no hard feelings or nothing like that. So I just wanted to come in here and just let Kyle, We ain't got no hard feelings with none of them, man. It, you know. Hopefully they ain't in their feelings, <laughs> but we nah, ain't yeah. feelings. Nah, I, I don't think it's gonna be like that. It just got like, like I said, when it's fire and the smoke, you know, you just gotta let it just, you know, it's gonna marinate in the air for a little bit, and then it'll dissipate. So only with pride comes contention. Mm -hmm. right, right. It'll be it'll be some respect next time. I bet. <laughs> all, right. all right, all right, all right. Shalom. All right, Shalom. 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 Yeah, yeah. Shalom. God. I guess just to make a point for everybody still here, they didn't prove anything. God, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> they didn't prove anything. The fact uh, that, and the brother tried to downplay my question as if it wasn't relevant. I asked the brother simply, is all you need to determine your tribe, the spiritual and physical attributes read in Genesis and Deuteronomy? He said yes. And then began to explain how that's what you use to determine your tribe today. That's not, that wasn't my question. And secondly, if that was the case, the priests wouldn't have got polluted from the priesthood because they could have just said, look, I got these attributes. I'm the son of Aaron. It's foolishness. You needed to prove it through your pedigree. Where's the paperwork? Mm, I'm exactly. Most of the, most of, most of y'all, if I was to pull a lot of y'all up from the crowd right now, you couldn't tell me who your great grandfather's name was. More or less his tribe. Yeah, I think we, uh, you know, with everybody on, I think we should set up for the next build. Uh, hopefully everybody that's here, man, got something from it, and hopefully they'll return, and we'll build in a much better way next time. I promise you that. <laughs> God. God. Uh, the only two things I was going to say was following up with just what uh, the brother Yash was saying, that the attributes do not determine your lineage. The prophecy does not determine your lineage or pedigree. Of course, definitely those things you know, can help his brother was substantiate, which wasn't the argument whether or not we were Israelites who knew that, but just being able to prove, substantiate that this is your lineage, therefore I can claim this tribe was where we were coming from. So yeah, the first there was no and there was no quote unquote hypocrisy in what brothers were saying. Just just so you understand what we were saying. When you look at history, when you look at biblical prophecy, when you look at archaeology, you can see who the Israelites are. Right. We can we can prove that. Like, OK, this is why so-called African-Americans say that they're Israel. This is why so-called Latinos and Native Americans say they're Israel. Now, when we talk about a tribe, the chart is literally faith based. And then they but they argue that is prophecy, according to the you know, when you read Genesis 49, you can see how it happened also here in the. No, no, it did not. You cannot see that. For example, Ephraim was fruitful. Do you see how fruitful Puerto Ricans are? Do you see how fruitful niggas are? Do you see how fruitful Mexicans are? You, that's a. That's a horrible argument to make. When you talk about Gab being overcome by a troop, they talk about the particular troop that overcame uh, the Native Americans. Same, again, I'll say it again. Same thing happened to the, the, the Aztecs, the Incas, the Mayans. Same thing happened to the so-called African Americans in the West Coast of Africa. So how do you now place that on one particular group of people? When you talk about Issachar, well, here's the problem with Issachar. Original Mexico runs up to like Oregon. From California on down, or excuse me, from Oregon on down has now been taken away all the way to the south, south of uh, California, even south of Texas. That's now known as Mexico. The ones that are in Arizona, the ones that are in Texas, the ones that are in Colorado, the ones that are even in Oregon, those are called Native Americans. How do you differentiate them to say that they're from the tribe of Issachar? Because some argue they're Gad or they're uh, Reuben or one of those. You, can, you cannot do that. Everything that they're saying is what you would consider faith-based. Biblically, you cannot prove these things. And that was the whole point. And what people were bringing out, which is what was kind of why brothers kept jumping in, brothers was bringing out information about one particular little group, one, informa uh, one, one piece of information about one particular people group, right? Look, the, these Native Americans said that they're of the tribe of Gad. That's cool. That's one tribe out of 
tens or hundreds of thousands of people. We have to deal with that, right? And this is what we're not dealing with. And that's why next, whatever the conversation is next time, I am going to go ahead and lead the conversation. And I want to build with brothers. And it's going to be a the actual back and forth dialogue where we will be cutting each other off to ask further questions and so on, because I think that that's the better way to build. But brothers was getting butthurt and what they kept doing was deflected. For example, what y'all said, but that wasn't my question. I'm asking you this specifically. And they wait, hold on. Da, 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 da. Even my brother, y'all was up. I love y'all was up to death. He's probably the most respectful brother on any of these platforms, but even y'all was up got to a place where y'all said, so was it Judah, Benjamin, and Levi? He said no. Then he turned around and said yes. Yeah, because, that's what I'm saying. Jake, they was full of it, man. <laughs> right. And so, if, and so for those... If I show them something, say something, say something. Talk. No, I was just going to say, um, you know, especially Bishop Josiah Wan does a good job of it. Um, and I'm just going to mention it, calling the spade a spade was uh, one, because even a couple of sisters pointed it to me was that after the premises were stayed, a lot of emotion, you know, was then came out and more emotion comes wow. out because it's entertaining. So things went from what initially, even she was saying, um, was sound like a debating platform and what at first should have been information being stated back and forth became information. And then when the other parties lacked that information to substantiate the claim, then became more of the attacks. Oh, you ain't listening. Y'all can't hear you leader of this. And, you know, and, and more the right. person had to give an entertaining. And that's what allowed them to rile up more of the crowd. And especially what was difficult was when you have more of the bandwagon effect, right. which you have which is, and I'm explaining these things for those who are here. That's the unconscious tendency to align one's thinking with that of other people and negative bias. The tendency of people having to weigh negative information more heavily than positive information and them leaning towards their group and their people and simply whatever they said, they were right. They defended it over what brother was saying. So we do want to, I know the bishop, we're going to talk, restructure the room our room and make sure that we're doing a just job and making sure we have true moderators who are going to fairly and justly moderate both sides and making sure brethren are able to mention their points, have that time to say this bill and then respectfully, you know, quiet those who interrupt and go ahead and pass the mic to the appropriate people to make their point. So it doesn't turn into an emotional, you know, back and forth and brethren can actually substantiate their points and stay on topic. All right. Uh, and that's there, it. There, okay. that to brother. Todd, real quick, real quick, because it was stated earlier. I don't remember who stated it, but they were asking, they were speaking about the, um, those of the Caribbean islands, the Dominican and so on. They expressed that those were Northern kingdom. When we talk about the West Indies of the Caribbean islands, we're talking about Jamaica as well. Jamaica is what people refer to as Benjamin. These people were dropped off there. So the question is, okay, they were talking about when they talked about Judah, they talked about how great they were at this, how great they were at that, how they did this, how they did that, even the adventures that they did. Okay, Native Americans, I, I personally believe the Native Americans or, or Mayans and Aztecs have way more amazing um, uh, uh, infrastructures and, and creations in their land from the pyramids to the aqueducts found in Peru that literally has water running up uh, uphill. Like, we're, we're so we're just going to completely omit these things. We're going to completely omit the fact that a number of soccer players who are Native American, uh, excuse me, are Hispanic, are the best soccer players. We're going to we're going to completely disregard a lot of the best boxers are what you call Hispanic, right? So how do we sit here and say, look, they're leading in all of these things. They're leading in a number of things, but they're also leading in, uh, they're also not leading in a number of things. So it's, it's crazy to sit here and make these general claims that can literally be disproven when you look at other facets. That, that's, you, uh, that, that was what was more so frustrating because they said, well, clearly we can see with boom, 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 but that's not clear. You can't do that. There's a number of, uh, of, of, of holes in the points that's being made. And track and field is the Jamaicans. Jamaicans are quote unquote Benjamin. So how they're the so-called African-Americans are getting their ass cooked every time they line up on a track. So what are you talking about? Right. When we're talking about boxing, Canelo was running the 168 division. David Benavidez is right behind him. They are quote unquote Mexican. They will be Issachar. How is how is so-called black people running boxing? Uh, uh, in, in freaking the, 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 what is it called? The heavyweight division. It's, uh, Alexander Usyk 
and Tyson Fury. Them is Edomites. And behind them, it's a it's uh it's Deontay Wilder, and I wouldn't even put Anthony Joshua in there anymore. Andy Ruiz. So what so what are we talking about? Then if we move lower down, you probably got a couple of Southern Kingdom and some that are champions. These are just people that are placed in a spotlight. Everyone knows that's because of politics. If you understand anything about boxing, being in boxing, knowing the number of professional boxers and those that co uh, coach professional boxers, I know how a lot of this stuff works. Even in football, you probably got a better argument. In basketball, you may have an argument. But if we're talking about soccer, if we're talking about all the other sports that exist, a lot of times, quote unquote, Judah does not, they don't reign supreme in a lot of these other sports. So to make that argument is a fallacious argument. So we cannot do that. I'll tell right? you one better. So I asked if there was going to be Judites living in Mexico. And they said yes. And that the way that they'd be able to identify themselves is that they came off the slave ships. So what about the Judites who were in Ghana? They never came off the slave ships. So how do you know what tribe they from? Huh. And that was one of the arguments. They were sitting there saying that, well, the ones in Africa claim that they're northern Great king. They claim that they're from the northern king or the ten no, tribes. Them true. jakes ain't even been to Africa. Right. They're full of shit. i do you a solid. I, the, uh, one of the richest men in America is a, a so-called ten tribe. $62 billion rich. And he in Mexico. So there, there's a, there's, there's a, a plethora of arguments that can be made that that's, there's too many holes in that, in that doctrine. I do believe brothers could have definitely built uh cleaner. Um, even when I build with people, I allow them to let them finish whatever they say. I usually take notes um, unless which it kind of that kind of became the thing, unless they become a little too long with it, which is what started to happen. Um, yeah, because brothers, brothers, one thing I don't like, show. brothers is trying to take what they doing on Clubhouse and trying to apply it to our room. Like, dude, we don't have to do what y'all do. And if y'all don't like it respectfully, y'all can leave the room. There's, there's nothing. We're trying to have a conversation. But there's no way we're going to be disrespecting the moderators not say something and we want to stand up for ourselves. Now they want to bitch and complain about we being disrespectful. I'm not having that. Exactly. Shut us out of here. Uh, man, What's I going on? In. Hey, Shawan family. Yeah, I just want to chime in real quick. Go ahead, Harry. Um, I was in the audience earlier. This obviously could have been a great build uh, because this is a topic that, you know, some Israelites are really toggling with, right? But we got to understand that this whole thing is not for us. Right. That, you know, and I'm just speaking neutral on both ends because a lot of people could have got edified from this. And I get it with the whole, you know, brothers feeling like, you know, brothers were over talking them. But we got to remember that this is everything we're doing is not for us. Right. I'm going to just bring out a quick scripture real quick. Okay, right? Go ahead. Right? Uh, one and 15, and I'm going to read through 18 and it reads 15. It says some indeed preach Christ. Right. Even of envy and strife and some also of goodwill. Right. I know you brothers came in here with a good intention to basically bring out this word, right, to edify our people. And listen, you talking to a brother, because I hear that you brothers, you know, do a lot of work in Ghana and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm an Israelite by blood, but I was raised in the land of Ham, you know what I'm saying, Nigeria. So I get where y'all brothers are coming from with the whole 12 tribe chart. But I think brothers could have been a little bit more patient with each other. All right. And kind of like really take that time because you got to remember, this is not our gospel. This is not about us. Right. I'm going to keep going. Verse 16. It says the one preach Christ of contention, not sincerely. Right now, I'm not saying that's not what you brothers are doing, but I think um, I think pride kind of came into it on both hands. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying this in this room because I'm right here right now. I would just say that brothers should please be a little bit more patient and look at the bigger picture, right? And I get it with the whole thing of them trying to over-talk, but just sometimes let's just have patience with each other, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey. And that's part of showing love in general. Um, I'm going to just wrap this up, and I'm going to back up, and I'm going to drop the floor. It says... Look, look. Oh, go ahead, King. Go ahead. Slack it. I was going to say, you know, with all due respect, uh, appreciate, you know, um, you giving your point of view. Um, the thing is, there are a lot of things that our people have to learn. And that's why our people need teachers. Our people need leaders. There's a whole lot of things um, that we teach about that, uh, that seem to be basic, seem to be things that people understand that everybody doesn't share the same. Uh, uh, um, they don't share the same beliefs on. They don't see it the same way. They don't look to deal with matters in the same way. The number one thing that we got to look at, we got to look at scripture. We got to look at scripturally how things are to be dealt with. 
And that's the thing, you know, there's a whole lot of Israelites that don't understand when you do have to take a strong stance against certain things and even with certain people at times. There are just times that when that happens, there's there's no way in the world Yahweh Shai, the one that the world calls Jesus Christ, would be in a situation where he's he he's teaching the people and and he's allowed someone to come in <laughs> and take over. That, it, that wasn't happening. That was unheard of. You know, and, and I'll take it up, like I said, with my brother. I love my brother to death, and it ain't going to stop with Darash I, in terms of how things were set up. But the reality of it is, it's not ungodly because we don't take disrespect. And that doesn't make us prideful because we won't allow them to continue to disrespect us. That doesn't mean there's pride on both sides. You got to literally examine the matter. The scripture says, make diligent inquisition. And a lot of times people are not making diligent inquisition. You're going by what you feel, what you think, what could seem to be more peaceful, what could be a good build. That's not what I'm about. I don't care enough about what outside people think in regards to what I'm doing as long as I can line up what I'm doing according to scripture. Sometimes you got to be the quote unquote bad guy and some people going to see it that way. But the people that really want to see it for what it truly is, they'll appreciate it. You know, there was that 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 wasn't pride because we would not allow for them to railroad us and do us the way that they were trying to do it. Like that's not pride at all. So, um, you know, with, with all due respect, you know, with all due respect, that's one of the biggest reasons why I was leery about the whole clubhouse situation. There's nothing wrong with clubhouse. It's just that things need to be set up in the right way, you know, and, and, and we have to be able to give what we want to teach according to the, the scriptures a fair shot. And when we have people that oppose that, you know, it needs to be understood for what it is. And we should not take that lightly, you know, and that's all you saw. We're not upset with them brothers. We don't have any ill will towards any of those brothers. You know, that's, it's called defending the word defending the gospel that's it right bishop um like i said i i said it was on both end i, I didn't specifically say it was more of you guys or more of them um but we also know that the scripture talks about we're going to be you know we prophesied in part man you know what i mean yeah. so that's why that hebrews 13 got to kick in we got to be a little bit more patient that's all i was just saying we, we're patient yeah, we, we're we patient that's not but see even with that and 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 you know respectfully even when you said i didn't say who more like there's some situations where there is not both sides being prideful. There's one side being prideful and it causes for a reaction from the other side. Everything's not pride because you have contention or because you have, you know, an argument or a debate that doesn't automatically make both sides prideful. You know, um, when, when things are being said that were said earlier on in the quote unquote build, it warranted for us to respond the way we finally responded. And, you know, some people may not agree. They might not like it, but that's the reason why we stand in as the teachers with all, you know what I'm saying? With all due respect, other people, they're allowed to teach on their platforms and teach in regards to how, you know, what they think is right, according to the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? But we're passionate, you know, and I, I don't want people to mistake our passion either. You know what I'm saying? For for us uh, operating anything less than godly. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to definitely continue to operate in godliness, speak in godliness. Um, you know, just like Paul said, man, he it was times where he had to speak differently to different people. And um, sometimes that type of talk and behavior warrants for you to meet them where they're at. And that's all we did. That wasn't pride. I if, if I'm not mistaken, in the beginning... Uh, when they posed the question to, to well, your, to, to your top, and then uh, to Zaywan ended up a answering the question, they asked him for a yes or no que uh, yes or no answer, and when they said yes or no and continued to expound, they started to cut them off and be disrespectful. So that that was that situation uh, when that situation happened, that's when uh, to Zaywan and Yashamai wanted the same energy, like. 
give me a yes or no answer and don't start to expound on it. I just want a yes or no answer. And that's what they did from the jump. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, and uh, and Wild Brothers for letting me speak. I appreciate uh-huh. it. Y'all brought you on a mighty work out here. Uh, as long as you keep pushing these law statutes and commanding and faith in your house, shot, that's all that matters, man. Uh, hey, brother, brother Ari, I had a question for you. Go ahead, King. Because I know you said uh, you, you said you're from um, Nigeria, right? Yeah, I was born in Nigeria, yeah. there, but you know the spirit bear witness, man. Kind of, kind of, of course. I just wanted, I just wanted to, because you're actually from the country. I want, I want to, I want to know if what uh, Kataza said is true about how our people stick together out there, or is it a whole lot of mingling and moving? Uh, what do you mean? And um, are you talking about Israelites or just like the whole nation in general? Of course, Israelites out there, because we know our people. Africa is the is the biggest con- uh, continent on this earth with huge countries, and it's a gang of Israelites still in Africa. Oh yeah, I mean, from where I'm from, I'm from the southern part, right? And it's primarily, you know, Christians, you know. But you get um, in little in spots in certain parts of it where we still practice it. Like my grandfather, you know, uh, pra- practiced the Hebrew custom. You understand? So, um, you know, and then you have little spots here and there. Then you have him. I thought that was 